Anyway, uh, right, we press on. Yeah, let's let press us on. press on. Uh, I'm afraid that Asakura is obviously not with us. Uh, we have him as an NPC. Uh, oh yes, he's he's along with you as an NPC. Because yes, he's handy. Uh, he, he'll hold your coats. <laughs> And, and and occasionally rush in to help if you look in trouble and steal your Buddha. How about that? Sounds good. Okay, so as far as where you all are... Oh god, let's get this right. So you are... Let's move you to North Hayuga. Because that's where you are. So you are currently in the village of Shinguru. Resting up, and the date. If I have a look on the, um, you have just finished the nineteenth Kikuzuki. <coughs> you had found out that the Rabbit Gang were involved in that bandit attack. Mm -hmm. One of them turned out. One of the bandits turned out to be Yakuza, uh, with a Rabbit involved in his Irizumi. And yes, you've met. Um, well, you, have you actually officially met a yakuza in? Not to speak um, to one. Nobioka. I don't think you've officially met a yakuza. I I, I know you've seen their, them with their Irizumi in the um, Lucky Coin Inn, and. I think Kinzo probably has because he acted as bouncer for the game there. But uh, you, were, you were introduced to the innkeeper as the innkeeper, not as a yakuza. So while you know various yakuza informally, you haven't met them formally. Uh, you have seen yakuza down in Miyazaki in South Hyuga. In fact, Kinzo has an ongoing appointment with one of them for a, <laughs> a, a bundle on the docks, I think, is uh, uh, what was expected, yes? Can't wait. And you're pretty sure there was a Yakuza involved in the first set of bandits you dealt with, just south of Hajima. So, they seem to be creeping into the plot. Mm. Anyway, mm. as far as the 20, uh, 20 Kikuzuki, you wake up in the inn. Some of you, I believe, still have some uh, damage outstanding. There's broken cloud in the sky above. It looks like you might get rain today, but uh, the weather's good. It's it, it's not excessively cold. You could get by in your normal uh, garb today. You don't need your winter garb. Asakura still has damage. Um, yes. Three, three lethal and three subjoined. I'm yeah. still damaged as well. Anyway, we are heading home, as far as I understand. Yeah. Correct. Sure, sure you, your, your, your headache is getting better, but uh, you, you, you still got, you still have willow bark tea um, with your rice in the morning. And a big old bump and bruise on my head. Oh yes. It is a mark of honour. Absolutely, it's a mark of when I nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, in that case, you set out down the pathway through the forest. The the the, the, pe the peasants have obviously cleared the, uh, the the tree off the road. Uh, let me see. I want to unlock more of this map. I'm sick of all the black space. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's dangerous travelling off the road, you know. Yeah. And you make are it all the way. On the... Hmm? Sorry, Dave. Are we on the 19th today, are we? Sorry. No, no, this now. is the 20th. Yeah. The 19th you spent the recovering in the inn. Yes. Um, okay, thank you. Junji practiced his physician skills on you in the morning yesterday and then you spent yeah. the day in the inn apart from when you got called over to the samurai's uh, yeah. abode to uh, look at the Irizumi on that Yakuza and you make it to you can stop the night in Anatawa if you wish 
here. Or you can travel on and, and just camp out. Well, I don't mean camp out. Yeah, actually. stop at the stop at the tower, I think. Okie doke. In that case. I'm afraid they will have to put you in the stables. The inn is full. Yeah, be sleeping on the side of the road. Um, they do have capacity. It's just that it's not in the normal room, so they'll only charge mm. you two, two copper for the night each. Yeah. If you would care to deduct it, <laughs> I will take it off Asakura. Partially encumbered just because of coins. <laughs> well, I'm sure others in the take party off your <laughs> would be delighted to take them off your hands. Yes. But too uh, many by, the, by the way, who's carrying the loot? Did we sell all the loot? Uh, no, you didn't. What have we got? Oh, I've got the loot page. I can see it. Uh, basically, it's the bows, isn't it? The, the Wakazashi and the bows. Well, we need to update the sheets. It says five crystals, so we need to do, change that to one crystal each because we don't have them for Matsuda anymore. They've got um, me. So. Yep. And you've got a herbal remedy. According to this list, you've still got a Tanto and three Wakazashi yeah, as well. Yeah, see that. Two inferior, one average. And we've got 20 copper credit in Shibuka as did, well. Did you not sell some of the one or more of those Wakazashi? Oh, yeah, I thought we did. Uh, if we think we've sold them, then I guess I we well, uh, did. Well, we've not sold them, no. No? no. Of course, okay. you, you, you tried to sell them, but uh, nobody was interested in buying them. They had, didn't have any no. uh, capacity. Should we start deleting some of these done ones? Yeah, yeah, if you want to, go ahead. Take it up. Oh, I'm sorry, is, is this the, the leader of the party? Are you, oh, sorry, are you de deputising, looking after yeah. the uh, loot? <laughs> he's delegating, well, no, delegating. Just, just just the housekeeping. <laughs> yeah, he's delegating a little bit of housekeeping. I'm on the sheet, I can tidy it up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to move everything up to the top when you've deleted all the dead ones. Yeah, if I can work out how to do that. Full of useful <laughs> suggestions. Okay, um, all is quiet in the inn, uh, probably the Ashigaru uh, standing around looking dangerous are, are a good reason for that. Mm. Unless of course you wish to cause trouble, Kinzo. Mm. Inn's probably full of those stuck up book, if you know what I mean. Are um, you talking to me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <coughs> well, you're the one who's expressed negative opinions about the boots previously. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but I'm not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You pick them in the, in the dark in the back alley when they go back to you and knock them out. <laughs> yes, a, a, a truly brave way of behaving. Very no, good. No, it's designed to keep me alive when I fail to do it properly so I can run away. All right, I've been tidying it up and moving it to the top, but when I've moved it to the top, it's put a line through it, so I'll just, just delete. Uh, I'll delete that. Somebody else can tidy it up later. I've done the deleting. Somebody else can do the moving. Just, just delete the rows. Delete the blank rows. One second. Uh, the point is, we actually still want to keep those, if you don't mind. Try oh. doing undo on on what you just did on that sheet because you just deleted those three wakizashi. Yeah, I can remember what it was though. That was it, wasn't it? Yep, yep, one average to inferior. That was it. Sorted. There you go, somebody else could do the move in after the deleting. Alright, you should be able to just delete the rows. Anyway. I'll leave you in peace to play with that. Mm -hmm. Anyway. 
Yeah. Um, the last night was actually quite cold. Temperature dropped down to three degrees. It's definitely a day for your winter clothing today. Clear skies, fresh breeze from northwest. Lovely weather for a crisp winter morning. So you travel all the way down towards Kagesama. And again, the day is peaceful. And you reach the river. This is the 21st now. This is the t 21 Kikuzuki, yes. And... Kagesama. Both ferries are on the far side of the river. Oh. You stand on the dock as you wave your hand to attract their attention. And one of them rows across, groans when he sees you, talks about offering you a season ticket. Uh, <laughs> how much would that cost? Oh, uh, gold each. Oh, no, I was thinking more, like, thinking more like 20 copper. No, no, he, he, he has to make a living, and the, the, the rate you lot are using his ferry... Um, no, he'd go. He, he'd die of starvation in a, in a month. <laughs> All right, maybe we'll just take our money and buy a ferry then, mate. No bother. See you later. Okay, that'll be two copper a piece, please. <laughs> We're on the one shoes rate. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to check whether you're actually on one shoes business. He says, taking one copper each from you. Feel free. This guy. I'll give him my last offer of 25 for a season pass. He smiles politely and... Uh, <laughs> thanks you for the um, offer, but we'll, we'll, we'll uh, continue his, his poor attempt to manage his own ship. Uh, he rows you... We'll check whether it's safely. He rows you safely across the river, not a problem. And lands you in the docks in Nobioka. Where do you wish to go now? Go to Monshu's place. Okay, done. Okay, you turn up to Monshu's place. Uh, knock on the door. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, Tim. It's actually you kind of uh, clash a couple of blocks of wood together outside. I think that's the correct way of doing it, isn't it? Uh, sounds about right to me. Yeah. Uh, he... Unlock he opens the door quickly and uh, is pleased to see you. Welcomes you back to Nobioka. He trusts you've had a, a, a profitable journey. Yes, indeed. Uh, come in, come in. Do you need to go and see your clients before you uh, uh, have supper? Uh, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah, unless it's, unless it's late. Yeah. Okay, well, drop your packs over there and uh, I, I, I'll get some uh, sake heating. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, you make your way into town. Uh, it isn't yet closing time, so... The you better Mason give me the money, guys. Is it open? So I can... don't want to okay, no. pay any bids visually. Yep. Okie uh, uh He's pleased to see you. Hopes your your journey went well. Yes. Uh, no, no problems that we couldn't deal with. Jolly good, jolly good. Trouble, but we, we dealt with them. Um, you didn't let them bargain you down, did you? No, no, we got the same prices last time. Oh, good, thank you. Uh, in that and case, I'll hand, uh, hand, hand over the money, and he will pay you. Um, I, th I honestly can't remember what he agreed to pay you. Was it a silver um, each for the I think journey? It was, yes. Yes. I so in that was, case, yes. he, you give him twenty-four, and he gives you one silver each back. Okay. Thank you very much. 
Um, he thanks you and uh, uh, he may have another little job for you tomorrow if you want to pop back. He needs to uh, talk to uh, a couple of people. Yep. yep. We will uh, we will pop back, yes. Okay. And you return to one shoes. Yep. He has the sake warming up and he also has uh, some water boiling for the some some fr from rice rice to go with your fish and vegetables. Um just knock a, a copper each off for food, because uh, you yeah. can just re refill and refuel uh, when you pass through a village. Okay. And he's interested in how your journey went. You know, what news, what happened, um, anything out of the ordinary. Yeah, um, tell him about the trouble. How we assisted in uh, rescuing the other merchant. Yeah, there was a merchant oh. being ambushed by bandits, and we came to his rescue. Oh. Well, you're obviously getting a, a, a going, going to uh, acquire quite a reputation. I have to try and tone it down a bit. You don't want to show the daimyo's uh, Ashigaru up. We're just trying to do what's right when we're in a situation that. Oh yes, yes, yes. I understand, to. but uh, you know, don't, don't get yourselves too much of a reputation as. Well, uh, we're not going out of our way to go around beating up bad guys, but no, this when this one is presented in front of us and an innocent merchants. Life has been threatened. Oh yes, understood. He's not no saying choice. don't do it. It's just you know don't kind of yes. noise it abroad too much. No, um, we're not. Actually well, we're, st for we're still bandits. humble. We're not. We're not here. Or we're not bragging about it. We're not oh, singing no, around. No, no, no. He, he, he's so. not saying that you, you you'd be doing it deliberately. It's just that if, if the daimyo's ask you go get the idea that you're kind mm. of you know bad mouthing them that they, they they can't keep bandits off the road. Could get a bit. Yes, making them look bad. Yes, they could get a bit touchy. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, fine. He's he, he's fascinated here. T t tell him more. Um, who, who is this merchant? Is it anyone he knows? Gingy. Yeah, give him his name and where he's from. Uh, Gingy. He's from. He... I forget the name of the place. Uh, uh, where is it? That'd be my notes from last G Gingy. time. Gingy. Gingy. Butsuki. Junji's the guy I from Utsuki, yeah, Hayuga. Northern Hayuga. It's in my note from last time. Yeah. Uh, he, he's quite an expert merchant, <laughs> by your telling. <laughs> yeah. Skilled physician, skilled poet, blah, 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 blah. There's nothing you can't do, apparently. <laughs> he's quite the man, yeah, he was quite the man. <laughs> um, uh, he has actually heard of him, he, he, you know, in, in passing. Of course you have. know him. <laughs> but he has heard of him. Uh, compliments you on, uh, uh, on, on on a good deed done, saving him from bandits. Um, are you going to explain how effective he was in the fight? Yeah, we'll explain what if he wants the details. He, he, he was he was a mean motherfucker. Yeah, absolutely. He needs to get his uh, his respect to it. It's due. He was a badass in the fight. Okay, fine. Okay. Um, he's fascinated to hear that a, a, a yakuza was involved um, from the, uh, the, the, the the rabbit gang. Um, he, he, Do you know about um, Kosa? Uh, you did notice how he was steering the conversation to try and pry out whether Yakuza, Yakuza was involved. Mm. The others didn't okay. notice him steering the conversation, but you <laughs> did. <laughs> you made your wit saying that. Um, I, will, um, I will mention it to the others when, it, when he's gone. Yep. Um, next but, episode. Uh... <laughs> Rabbit again? Good lord. Um, they're a long way out of their patch. Miyazaki's down in South Hayuga. That was up in North Hayuga. He's outraged. Yes. Is it the rat gang up here? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah they, 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 they control the docks. Um, 
he, he, he kind of nods towards Kinzo. Um, you know, they they they, they run gambling um, in the in the one, uh, lucky coin in. Um, but yeah, providing I you know, pay my insurance, um, I I don't have generally have a problem with them and. Well, maybe They're some always... gangs are not as violent as others, and maybe the rabbit gang are more of a problem. Maybe the rat gang are just your normal extortionists. Maybe the that. rabbit gang are trying to expand their yeah, expand the territory up the way. He looks horrified at the idea. Uh, he better have a, he, he 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 will have a, a quiet word with a couple of his contacts to see what whether they're aware of it and uh, and uh, what they think of this. <laughs> Are you going to mention your suspicions about the uh, the bandits south of Haji Hajima, Kosa? Uh, I'm not. So I'm not that concerned about it. The others may may wish to. Fair enough. I don't. I don't seem that fussed about. Oh, well, that that much interest in the accuser, to be honest. I do a little bit. I'm not keen on the extortion of people and that. I'm a bit of a man of the people are not really happy about Yakuza and the way they operate and the way they extort well, they, 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 they kind of help pr protect us from uh, aggro from the uh, the daimyo's Ashigaru I mean yeah. occasionally an uncle and I might have a little bit of merchandise that isn't officially approved and you know they, they, they draw off attention from the uh, the guards so you're saying they're not such a bad thing and your local boys the rat, the rat gang are tolerable and not such a bad thing but for other gangs to be encroaching into the area I would bring on Yakuza gang warfare into the area and that would be a problem oh that would that would be bad if that happened yeah so we don't want any of that it's not a big problem for the rat gang if they're not if they're peaceful and just doing their thing and protect people then then maybe they're it's you know not all Yakuza that I have a problem with but maybe if another Yakuza gang is moving up this way it's going to cause real violence which could cause a lot of problems for a lot of people. You, you, you boys enjoy your meal. I'm going to uh, pop off and uh, talk to a couple of people, he says, and then kind of disappears out the door. Of course. Mm. Did you notice the way he had quite an interest in the accuser? Yeah, he very much was steering the conversation that way, wasn't he? <laughs> I wonder what he's up to. <laughs> Oh, ye of little thing. <laughs> so suspicious. Anyway. Um, uh, don't care what he gets up to, to let us implicate me. <laughs> well, as long as, it, as long as it doesn't implicate you and as long as you make money. Yeah. Now I've seen better pay money as well, yeah. Okay, so uh, he, he, he's missing for most of the rest of the night. Um, you settle down to sleep, etc. And he's back in the morning, um, sleeping in his... Uh, we probably wake up when he comes in, but he doesn't say anything. He just goes and settles down and, uh, and goes to sleep. Okay. So... Let's pull up the diary. Uh, so, 22 Kikuzuki, you wake up again. It was even colder last night. And it's going to be colder again today. These clear skies are not a good thing. All the heat's leaving. So, what are you planning on doing today? I think you have a couple of things that you have lined up to do. Yes, we're going to go back and see the gentleman, of Mr. Jim's, what's his name? Matsuro. Matsura. 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 Yep. You so had another we'll couple later of... on in the morning, I think. <laughs> yes, you had another couple of things you were planning on doing, weren't you? Uh, Remind us, David. Help me out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you have a little script burning a hole in your pocket? Oh you've got a script for twenty silver or twenty copper somewhere. Uh, let me check that out. It was on the loot page. Oh, I don't think you page. added it to the loop. Oh yeah, I 20, I think. No, it's 20 for, copper it's, credit in Shibuka. No, it's, it's for the bandits, wasn't it? Yes. 
Kosa did manage oh, a yeah. masterful attempt to, to, to persuade the local samurai that these bandits were covered by his bandit hunting license and That's therefore right, he deserved yeah. a reward of <laughs> one silver per head, which these samurai signed off. Yeah, we'll uh, better go try and cash it in. <laughs> Are we going to sell this wakizashi then? Are they real wakizashi? swords. Do you guys want to try and deal with selling those? And I'll uh, try and get this money. Are they real ones? Real swords? Yes. Does it? Yes. Uh, does Asakura have a sword already? And not be allowed to carry one. He'll have a wooden one, right? Uh, he's auth. Uh, sorry, he doesn't have authorization to carry a wakizashi, and his wakizashi and good yari are in the armory down at Hanamishisu. Yeah, he's not allowed to carry them around, so there's no point keeping one for him, right? Not at the moment. Yeah, okay. What about a bow? Uh, well, he's, he's allowed to carry a bow. We could keep the arrows and quivers. Uh, I believe he's already carrying a bow. Yeah, but we could the arrows and quivers, some of them might be worth hanging on to. Yes, as long as somebody's actually carrying them. He is. <laughs> they're for him. Right. Uh, so... We leave them at on shoes, that's what we do. We can do, yeah. He can yeah. decide what he wants to do yeah. with his hero. Yeah. I suggest we keep those, because that way um, we don't have to go down to Hana Mishisu to pick up a wakizashi for him. Ah, you keep them yeah, here. Good thinking. Keep them here at uh, Nobioka, right, yeah. yeah, one shoes. Yeah. He, he has one relatively... shoes, okay. Yeah, he, 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 has has he, has, he has low warehouse prices uh, available, yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> this guy, man. Well, as long as he can call on Asakura's uh, mighty arm, if needed. Oh, At course. a reasonable rate, he says. Yeah, that's fine by us. So we're going to keep the average one there and sell the two inferior ones. I think you've actually got two average. Two, I think. Oh, I think yeah, we've two got two, two we? inferior. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, just keep one of the average ones. Uh, well, we've, we've tried ten, to sell... So any, anybody want to... Yeah, well, I think you we tried to sell it, didn't we? Yes, you tried selling some um, on seven Kikuzuki, and unfortunately, you weren't able to. That is quite a few days ago. You could try again. See a tanto. Do you need skill a skill in it to use it? Well, it's less than yes. two weeks. Yes. Okay, I'm not going to bother keeping that. Just thinking. No, let's just keep all of it for now, and we'll sell it in about a month. We'll try to. Yeah. You can certainly try selling the uh, the hand cube because uh, those are you didn't try selling any of those. People just stand well, there. Well, given our friends in there, I think we should keep those just in case he breaks it. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. I think we should even take a carry a spare one around for him just in case he breaks uh, us. As a matter of interest, Dave, what is Azakura's strength? Is it over twenty? I don't think so. I think his strength is only twenty. Yes. In that case, he's only, he's only using a man rating one hand cue, not a man rating two. Correct. Ah, oh, my apologies. Yes, he's got a two man hand cue down. That should be a one man hand cue. So does the one man hand cue mean it's a one person one, and a two man hand cue is a bow that no. takes two people to use? The, the way bows work is an, an arrow normally does, a willow leaf normally does 1d6 damage. Yeah. Okay. And. The number of man a bow is, is the number of dice that it does. So okay. a one-man hand cue normally does 1d6 damage. A two-man hand cue is 2d6 damage. And up to 20 strength, it's normally one man for a hand cue. 20 to 20 to, to 30 is two man. Got you, right? so it does two damage, Some, two dice. Yep. That essentially, uh, 21 is a man rating... Uh, two hand cue, or yep. a man rate three die. In D and D terms, the two man is the the composite longbow. Takes bigger strength to pull it. Bigger strength to pull it does yeah. more damage. Yeah, yes. cool, cool, cool. And Got if it. you are at point blank range, you do an extra man rating. So the one man hand cue would do two d six damage, which is what happened to that Ashigaru when he charged those two bandits. Once he got into point blank range, bang. 
Unfortunately, they still rolled ones on both of the dice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that but reminds you... me. Can, can I ask yep. you a game question, Dave? Certainly. Uh, me and Tim have noticed an inconsistency. No. I'm sure you the have. Shuriken, me. The Shuriken Jutsu skill. Yep. Under the skill, it says it's not a bonus for Padoka, but under Padoka, it says it is a bonus for Padoka. Oh. Oh, <laughs> let me double check that. Oh, because I have been so interested in Shuriken Jutsu, you know that. Well, I've already got Shuriken Jutsu, but I got it as a non bonus at the moment. Ah, yeah, right. and I'm, I'm planning on learning it, so. So this, this matters for all of us, eh? Uh... Well, that's why we need a ruling on it. I, it doesn't matter too much whether yeah. it is or it isn't, but we both we want still to know. Take what it anyway, we need to be yeah. consistent on yeah. it, aye. Okay. Because I'm wanting Shuriken Jutsu as well. We all want it. Well, it's our only missile weapon. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Can we not usable if we train? Oh, we can use it, but it's not a bonus skill. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go yeah. But it means... Yeah. Bonus skill means you add your strength or your speed or something to it, doesn't it? No, you add your, you add your, you add your character level to... Character level, your that's skill. it. That's it. And yeah, possibly yeah. your damage. Yeah, yeah, so whatever you're rolling, and if it's like a, a strength roll, you roll, you add to your damage as well, so you would add so if you're... You can learn it a bit quicker as well if it's a bonus, got you? Ah, yeah, yeah, got you. I think so, yeah. It's taken me a while to learn this game, but let's be fair, it is quite crunchy. <laughs> oh, it is, yes. Uh, Shuriken Jutsu... Is also... Is bonus for Shugenja or Ninja? I was reading about the game yeah, today. No, it, it goes to level oh, six. Oh yes, I know. We've only, we've only had one of us reach level two so far, so I feel like the campaign is going to run for yeah. a while. And so it's, you check into as, the it's listed as uh, a bonus for uh, Shugenja and Budoka and Ninja. Uh, so. I personally think it should be. I think it should be bonus for, for Budoka. Kind of fits in with the Budoka, doesn't it? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it may also um, fit in for Bushy, because if you look under the weapon, you can hurl yeah. Tanto, Iguchi and Wakizashi using Shuriken Jutsu. Ah, <laughs> so you can use Shuriken Jutsu to throw other bladed weapon. Oh, yes, right. yes. question. Is there any kind of weapon like a bola? You know, like balls on string? Uh, there is the chain weapon, yes. One that you throw, though, is there a throwing one for tangoing people? A throwing, like, no. balls on string weapon? Because that's a cool not, weapon not... for a bodoka. Why? Just is. Why? Just because it's cool. <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> why? What do you mean, why? Because it's cool. <laughs> There isn't a specific skill, but I'm sure you can develop an Okuden of Shuriken Jutsu to throw a, 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 a um, chain weapon. You know the type of weapon I mean, a bowler? Oh, yes. It's like a gladiator weapon, I guess, isn't it? But it, it is not a standard weapon yeah. in Nippon. That is not to say that you can't develop it as a weapon. It's not it an would unrealistic be a certain specialist. weapon. But, it's no, not an no, unrealistic you... weapon for the setting, though, is it? You would have to develop mastery in the skill, yeah, and then develop an Okuden in it. I and to be fair, because it's a unique weapon, you probably to rule it like the homebrew rule. It, you'd have to say I would, you would need to have like skill in Shuriken Jutsu if it's a thrown weapon, and maybe something like Nunchaku Jutsu because it's like a chain weapon. You know what I no, mean? there is a specific skill for chain weapons. Yeah. So if you had that and Shuriken Jutsu. Uh, one second. Clear, okay. I'm really interested in a thrown weapon that ties people up, like tangles their legs up or something. Um, or tangles their arm up to disarm them. Okay, it's Kuzari Jutsu is the skill. For chain weapons. Which is uh, combat with a weighted chain or rope. Yeah, that's and... what I'm talking about. Something like that, but that you can throw. Well, if you have Shuriken Jutsu and Kuzari Jutsu, and you master Kuzari Jutsu, then you could develop an Okuden in hurling your chain. But disarming yourself like that, not really a very sensible thing to do, is it? I'm just thinking flavour. Mm. 
as always. Well, of course. And as Flavy, you can develop a specialist weapon, but it's not something that's taught by the standard schools. Yeah, but it would be very cool. It might be something for the future, a higher level. I mean, it was, from memory, developed um, for cattle use, wasn't so, it? question about what somebody I mentioned earlier. I appeal to the players. Got... I, I believe it was developed for, for, for bringing down um, antelope and, yeah. uh, and, and cattle. Yeah, it's a hunting weapon. South yeah. America? Yeah, yeah, it's a hunting weapon. I yeah. think it might be South American or African, actually, yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you don't have that sort of open country with uh, yeah, with, with, yeah, with that sort of yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, um, prey here, I'm afraid. So, yeah, quick question. You said that you could throw a tanto with a shuriken jutsu. Do you have to Correct. have tanto skill as well to do that? No. Ah. So you can have shuriken jutsu and throw tantos as a throw dagger. Correct. Ooh, Wouldn't okay. necessarily be very good. <laughs> Aye, yeah, okay. But so that in that case, then, if you had Shuriken Jitsu and the skill with Tanto, would it be better? Uh, let's see. Where are we? Where are we? Sorry, I'm asking a million rules here, questions here, but... As, as far as Tanto is concerned, you can throw it using Shuriken Jutsu. You do not need Tanto Jutsu to be able to throw it. That's interesting, I know. And what else okay. did you say you could throw other bladed weapons, like a wakizashi? Or, yep. oh, sorry, the, yeah? The Tanto, the wakizashi, the aiguchi. And not the okay. yari, you can't throw spears with it. That's, does throwing spears come under the Yari Naga Jutsu is the, um, uh, the, the javelin, javelin throwing yeah, skill. Yeah, 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 got you, cool. Yep. Right, I'll shut up now, that was at least 12 questions. You can also use a Yarinaga uh, 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 in, as a hand-to-hand -hand weapon. You don't have to throw it. Yeah, yeah. Ah, a javelin, yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, okay, boys. Okay. Anyway, to okay, return! Um, I, I the believe answer that to the original question. <laughs> the answer to the original question, I think we should make um, Shuriken yeah. Jutsu bonus for Budoka uh, and for... Uh, bushy because so not why you the would... other one you okay. said it's already bonus for Shugenja and Ninja it says it's bonus for Budoka but it doesn't say it under the skill okay, okay. Um, it's basically the skill of throwing objects which mm. aren't necessarily um, balanced for throwing yeah. so sh throwing Shuriken those are specifically designed for throwing Iguchi and Tanto, not really designed for it, but can be thrown. Wakizashi, definitely not designed for it. What's an Iguchi? Iguchi is um, a, from memory, it's uh, a, a concealed dagger. Right. It's a small dagger. A Tanto is uh, one that's carried openly and used in, in, in normal combat. Yeah, go yeah. I think that's the, the definition. Where are we? Mm -hmm. uh, like a little needle dagger. I think it's like one's a, more like a knife and one's a dagger, isn't it? Sort of. Uh, well, an Iguchi is a long, thinly bladed yeah. uh, knife. A bit like it's, a stiletto. Yeah, dagger. It, it, Whereas it, it, a Tanto is more like a dagger. Yeah, a or, knife. Or, an Iguchi is knife. designed especially for thrusting, easily concealed, and often poisoned. <gasps> so a little pin thing like a dagger length rapier, basically. Stiletto sort of thing. Stiletto, yes. yeah, basically. that's the one. Uh, when you thrust, you normally. Um, I think you reduce the damage down by a, a, a step on the damage done. So a D6 would go down to D5. And Iguchi does not reduce. Uh, no, it. Dave, a D6 yeah. goes down to a D3. D3, my apologies. But you a D6, normally... A, a D, sorry, a D6 and a D5 are considered the same damage step. Yeah. But normally when you thrust, you reduce the if uh, the, the damage. So is that like a with an Iguchi, it's the same. Something. Rather than slashing. There are certain weapons that you can thrust with. Spears. Yeah. That, that, that is... No. Thrust is a special attack. Um, which... You add plus one to your BCS. And you the damage you do is the percentage chance of a thrust special effect. A thrust yeah. special effect forces the op the opponent back a yard and causes him to forfeit his next available action phase oh, okay. and also 
he has to make a will saving throw to avoid a stun so like critical. A pushing attack. So a thrust is a special attack that is reduced damage, but has an increased chance of causing something out of the ordinary. Yeah, great. Okay. So Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm reading some of these rules because I'm still not anywhere near as familiar with them as Tim. So apologies for that. Anyway, oh, get, right. getting back to the um, the plot, I believe Kosa was going to uh, take a trip out to try and redeem a yes. script. And Correct. was anybody going to try and sell those Hanku or were you uh, going to keep more? No, I'm suggesting, uh, sorry, Kinzo is suggesting that we wait a month or so, then try. Yep, okay, that's fair enough. Okie doke. So, uh, is Kosa hopping off to see the Daimyo's treasure by himself? Oh, uh, no, we're all Yes. Good. Okay, okay, fair enough. Okay, so you're going to. Well, that try... way we can all we can go to Matsura once we've finished. Yes, good idea. In that case, you set off. And. Uh, he is actually in. And you are let through by the, um, the the clerks without an appointment. Obviously, you made an impression last time you were here. Is this to see yeah. Matsura? No, no. This is to see the no, 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 no. treasurer. Oh, yeah, for the the um, bad money. You, you weren't actually introduced last time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he is Saburai. You just came up with uh, wanting money out of him. Uh, looks up. Yes? Uh, good morning. Uh, I have a script which I'd like to uh, claim, please. Mm, very good. And uh, over in under my license. Okay, duck. Uh, but you've already um, been paid for the bandits. This is a different set of bandits here. Okay, um, let's see, you're going to try and convince him this is under the same, uh, do you have commerce as a skill or any, anything you believe you would be able to convince him? Uh, I don't think so. In which, in which case, <laughs> in which case you, you are pitting your wit against his administrative skills. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> Um, make a d20 roll. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> In that case, I'm going to give it to you. Because you do actually you. have a, sign, a script signed by a legal authority. And you have yes. made a convincing argument that uh, even though it not, not, might not fall under the original set of bandits... The original um, license didn't cover one specific set of bandits, just authorised you to go hunting yeah. bandits for which you'd be paid a reward. Yes. In which case, he will reluctantly open the chest and uh, pull out some silver coins. Uh, how many is this counting out into your uh, palm? Was it five? An F, wasn't it? Uh, Ten, I believe, wasn't it? Ten bandits, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it wasn't ten bandits. Um, no, it wasn't. Oh, I shall, I shall I take you back to the screen so you can count, if you wish. No, I believe you, Dave. If it's... It was, in fact, six, yes. Six. Six. Okay, six. Yeah. Yeah. I remember yeah. seeing a bandit number five. Yeah. Um, so he will re reluctantly count up appropriate six silver pennies, silver, co silver coins into your palm, and uh, uh, he will take the okay. bandit, he will, he, he will kind of scribble a note on the bandit hunting license saying fulfilled, and uh, yeah. put it in his files. Damn. <laughs> anyway, I'll thank him and, and bow and, and back out. 
he 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 is reasonably uh, um, in, impressed with your abilities. It, it's not many people get more money out of him like that. <laughs> we both set. Okay. Right, so that's uh, there were six silvers in their pot. Nice. Charlie, good. So, how many of the four of us? Five of us? Uh, four of you. Yeah, four. Well, I'll take a silver each anyway. If we want to take a silver and we'll put the other two in the pot. Nice. Okay. Would you mind up uh, updating the your bushes sheet, please, Kyo? Yeah, I can get it if you want. That's Surely good. good. Yep, okay. What was it? One and silver. you were then popping along to see. One silver. Matsura. Hang Sarah. on. Hang on. If I click undo, will it change? Because I think I might have just added two. So, how do I undo? Undo. If I control Z or edit undo. If you have a look up on the uh, toolbar, you should see that there's a, a, a back arrow. Yeah. Edit un control Z or do it. Or, yeah, or just type in, type in the I correct had number. Thank you, Thank you, David. That did it. Thank you. I wasn't sure. What well, I didn't remember what I started on, but I'm sure I just added two and not one. So yeah, I did that back arrow and it was wrong. I've changed it. Yeah. No problem. Okay, so you pop along to see Matsura. He will uh, welcome you into his shop. Um, uh, tell his apprentice to go and uh, make some some tea. It is a cold morning. Um, gathers you round his brazier just to, to, to keep him warm. Uh, unfortunately, his shop is quite open because he does a fair bit of uh, uh, work that needs a lot of light. You know, stone yeah. masonry needs good light. Mm -hmm. uh, right, well, uh, he is has been commissioned to open a quarry for limestone, and... Before he does so, he would actually like his apprentice to go and see whether there's any more of those crystals around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you know, just in the surface of the of the limestone. Uh, yeah. You obviously, he, he kind of picked up the ones that were visible, but there's... He doesn't know whether there, there might be a band of them. Um, it's possible it might just be because of the presence of the Araburu Kami there, but uh, mm. it might be there's more in the rock so before the official opening he would like uh, his apprentice to go and to get some more samples to, to prove that it is adequate for what the daimyo is looking for right okay and assume he wants us to escort him if you wouldn't mind escorting his apprentice there you know he'd be quite happy to pay three 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 copper a day each how is it didn't, didn't we have a four copper a day minimum these days, guys? <laughs> yeah. yeah, a bit flexible. Um, hang on a second. Let me move to the correct sheet. It's just I approximately. Move, I didn't move you back to the uh, right. the, the, the central high yoga sheet. The known world. It's not far, is it? Three it's not far. Uh, it's one, two up the road and then one two and a half so three through um, the woods so you should make you, you you would actually make it in a day if you uh, rush sure. Asakura I mean you Badoka would have no problem making it in a day yeah all right you, we'll you, settle it for the three you may have to tip a bucket of water over may have to tip a bucket of water yes. over his apprentice when you get there <laughs> Yeah, we'll do it for the three copper a day. Okay. In that case, um, is, will tomorrow be okay? Or are, have you got time to leave now? It's it's mid morning now. Yeah, we could go now if everything's ready on your side. Yeah. Your apprentice is ready to go. Uh. Well, finish your tea, and he can get his stuff together. So uh, it disappears into the back and you hear yeah. raised voices. Um. So we're going today to look for more crystals. Yeah. That's that's the idea. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just write my notes. Um. Just 
updating this. Kosa persuades Treasurer to pay for the bandits. <laughs> <laughs> Against the odds. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you <laughs> made a good idea. So, so we are likely to end up working for the Treasurer at this rate. Well, he's a man with plenty of money, isn't he? He's put his hands into the diaries. Loot, as it were. You might as well work for a rich man. You're going to work for somebody. But he's not a rich man. It's the daimyo's money. Yeah, no, but he's, he's got the authority to hand it out. <laughs> That's just as good. True. True. I like your thinking. I like your thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you you finish your cup of tea. You actually have a set time for a second cup of tea before the uh, apprentice returns. He had to go home to his mum to, uh, to to get his spare clothing. And when she found out he was going out with the heroes, she she insisted on on oh, making sure yeah. it was. <laughs> I'm sure you've got your coach. You won the <laughs> oh yeah, it, it is a cold day. Uh, but it, so it's mid morning really before you get time to set off so you're not going to make it all yep. the way there and okay. so you travel up the road and into the woods uh, you don't actually meet any patrols on the road we'll go at the apprentice's pace okay. really? Okay. yeah, yeah. we don't have a stress oh, yeah. more, the more day, days rush. That's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we're getting, time. Pe we're getting paid, paid by the hour. Yeah, we're getting paid shitty time and we're going to make it last week. Surely good. In that case, you, you, you camp just outside the woods at the, at, the, at the tip of the hills. And it is a cold night again. Are you going to have a fire? Ugh. Yeah, cold night. Any reason why we shouldn't, guys? No, we're going to need it because it's very going to be very cold. Yeah. What about you, but I don't sleep well in the cold. Yeah. No, let's uh, get a stoke in that fire up. Okie doke. And you uh, find dead wood, etc. And... So I'm just checking people's practical arts. So we, we, we have a farmer yep. and a cook. We've got yep. a hunter and tracker and a hunter. Um, okay. Eventually you find sufficient good quality wood to make a fire, but it's, it, it takes you a bit longer than if you had a, a woodsman in the, in the group. Uh, so you roll yourselves up in your winter clothing and a peaceful night passes um, you're actually woken by a, a slight tremor yep. the ground shakes slightly but it was colder last night than the night before clear skies again it's going to be another chilly day. And you head into the woods. Yep. <laughs> oh, 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 what's that now? Okie doke. Uh, you're actually going there. That's where the cliff is and you reach there uh, late morning looks much as it did before uh, the skeletons of the um, bakemono that you killed scattered about uh, a few more stones have fallen off the cliff Great. Uh, the apprentice will uh, have a good look and start tapping away at the limestone. Do you wish to do anything while he's doing that? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm going to get ready to dash forward and save him from a collapsing rock face. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... And I was hoping maybe yeah. somebody would come with me. I was going to just patrol around the area a little bit. Just take a little walk around. Keep my eyes open. You take a walk around. Um, I'm just going to just watch, watch the apprentice doing his stuff. Keep the apprentice in the okay. Watching uh, Kinzo nervously watching the cliff. <laughs> Right, so... So, what's your name can go with you? Don't you? Asakura can come with me, yeah? Asakura can go with you, yeah. We're going to keep you guys in sight, so we're not going out of your sight, but to the perimeter of your sight, yeah. check it out the area. Just keep us within shouting distance, that's all I'm Yeah, just so we can double our vision range, basically. From, from okay. you past another vision range. Um... He taps away at the, the rock, and he's obviously not particularly good at it, because uh, a, a, a few large chunks break out, and then there is a, a, a cracking sound, and more rocks start to fall from further up the cliff, and he attempts to get out of the way and falls over. Oh, gosh. Okay. Now, first of all, none of the rocks are falling on him. I mean, you you are standing far enough back, you can tell that yeah. the rocks are falling, but they are not falling on him. Just, just the small ones. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so he kind of crawls back out of the way and kind of looks up at the cliff. Um, gets his breath back. Uh, that should have cleared the... Uh, Anything that was loosened by the uh, uh, earthquake last night, he, he, he mutters to himself mm -hmm. and goes back and carries on tapping. And he gets various samples. About an hour later, uh, there is another crack further up and more rock starts to fall. Does he get out of the way in time? No. But again, luckily, none of them is actually falling on him. Seems very unstable, this cliff, doesn't mm -hmm. it? No, no, no. I, I think it was just that so, so there were some cracks We've just had that caused by it. yesterday's earthquake. And mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, it, it, it's just there's the odd one or two. They're not very kind of large. It's just minor cracks, obviously. He says. Okay. Has he found any crystals yet? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Um, he, he's going to have to break open some of these large lumps that he broke off. He, 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 he's been trying to get small lumps off, but um, not really. He, 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 while the, uh, uh, the, the slope stabilizes a bit, he, he cracks a few more of them open. and no, There's no signs of, of crystals. Um, Actually got that one right along the bedding plane, um, but no, it doesn't appear as though the, the ones he's taken out have, have got anything. He'll he'll make one more attempt on the face before nightfall, uh, and shit. <laughs> <laughs> there is another ominous cracking, and yeah. There's some larger rocks falling, and he's in the way this time. <laughs> Does he make his speed saving throw? No. Are you going to attempt to drag him out, Kinzo? Uh, yes, no. Yes, no. Okay. In that case, uh, given that you had set yourself to do so, I will give you a jujutsu roll to... Um, grab him in an effective way to, 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 to haul him away from the Roll him out of the way, flip him over your shoulder out of the way. Yeah. Beautiful roll. Nice you haul him out of the way and lands just where his leg was. Nicely done. You really uh, need to be more careful, you know. Uh, um... Uh, 
hasn't he heard what happened to his master? He, he has a closer look at the cliff face, so the the the, the inclination of some of the the cracks that have developed, and uh, he agrees with you that uh, it does actually look as though that face is unstable. You know, th th this last set of cracks really? is obviously just has just revealed some 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 weaknesses. He says, <laughs> obviously lying through his teeth. <laughs> You cannot see anything different in the crack formation from what you saw earlier. Um, but having uh, failed his skill roll on assessing the cliff face the first two times, he's actually made it the third time. <laughs> um, okay, in his opinion... Has he seen everything in it? Yes. Um, he does not think there are any more crystals. It's, it, it, it's not a bed of crystals or a group of crystals yeah. it's probably caused by that Araburu Kami um, okay so we will yeah uh, any, way of, any way of getting it back he asks getting what back the Araburu Kami yeah, the master sent me here to look for crystals well, and, and you defeated it well, last the, time uh, the uh, priest uh, I don't know what they do. Drove it away, I think, is what they do, isn't it? They exorcised it. Or whatever. Uh, exorcise it, that's the word, Ginzo. Well, he, he, he wasn't specifically watching. He was more concerned about the, the bakimono yes. that was attacking him. The Arab Army should not be around and should not be coming back. Oh, he looks disappointed. He's going to have to report failure to his master. Maybe if we go into the woods and look for more bakimono, we might find another Arab Army. No, thank you. <laughs> uh, can I ask a question about the map, please, Dave? Certainly. Do we know what the, that red dot is on the map? That is the <laughs> village where you found the bandits. Okay. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's an abandoned village which they'd taken over as a as a den, if you like, a hideout. Uh, should we go and investigate that uh, abandoned village? Yes. Yeah, if any of returned, if sick. any more have come back there. Uh, I suppose so, yeah. I don't really want to get it in a fight while we've got uh, Junior here in too. Oh, I can just well, hide. Oh, I, I, well, in that case, let's return to town and then we can come back on our own, can't we? Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go and have a scout. Does somebody want to go and have a scout? If there is anybody in the, the village. We don't all have well, to go if somebody wants to. Well, it's, to it, it, it's, it, it's kind of late afternoon. Um, yeah, tomorrow morning, then. You could, you could, you could actually, given the rate that you're only moving speed of the of the apprentice, you could actually um, send someone with the apprentice um, to where you camped previously, and the rest of you pop along and, and see the village, and then catch up. No problem at all. Sounds like a plan to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. We'll send, what's his name? Asakura. Is mm -hmm. it Asakura's name? Yep. Uh, yeah, we'll send I... Asakura back with, with, with the apprentice, and the other three of us are yeah. going up. We'll have a little sleep. Okie doke. The night passes relatively peacefully. Uh, not quite as cold as the night before, but when you wake up, there are dark storm clouds over it, and the winds turn to the north. So Asakura and uh, the apprentice are going to head south east back along the edge of the hills to your campsite and should only take them till about midday to get there. And you, the rest of you are heading uh, through the woods to the site of the other village. Okay? Yeah, see if there's been any so, activity since we left. Let's see whether anything happens to Asakura and the Okay. Righty ho. So, they get back to the campsite. Hang on a second, I just need to put the old key down. Or at least you think they do. Now, rest of you, 
I will assume your I'll leave your, your marker still there. Uh, you are trying to make your way to the location of the village. You are not on the yep. path that you travelled before, so therefore you're going to have to try and make your way through the woods. So, could I have best of hunting or tracking roles to for direction finding through the woods? I just need one success. What one success? Neither of those are me. Right. I've got tracking. <laughs> Oh, I think that fails, but not, not horrendously bad. Tracking, uh, tracking, oh. tracking. Okay, yeah, it's quite bad. Oh no. Well, no yeah. <laughs> I'm on a six. I rolled a ten. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you're not twice as bad. You know the rough yeah. direction. So rather than, it just, here, yes. rather than it just. You, you end up travelling two re rather than one re to get mm -hmm. there. Okay? okay? I'm sure it's around here somewhere. That's... Okay. Um, the scenic route. Since the rest of you don't know anything about Netherlands, um, you, you're none the wiser about this. So. <laughs> <laughs> Detour. Quite. Um, so he obviously knows what he's doing, because he gets you there. Uh, it was obviously more to the west than you thought, because it took you longer to mm. get there than expected, but uh, so what? Yeah. <laughs> Weather's different, sun's in a different position there, confused me a bit. <laughs> Okay, so let me move you back to that particular uh, map, which is... where have I put it? That one. Yep. Okie doke. So let me just remove those bandits. Remove the corpses and and I shall also move Asakura. <laughs> Drat. Can you still see the uh, auras from the? Bandits, I move to the GM layer. <coughs> no, just ours. Then no, I can just see us and our auras. Good. Because uh, I can see them, but then I'm the GM, so. Go to the GM layer uh, thing where you select layers and you can turn the opacity up and down. And that'll hide it. Yeah. Okay, doc. Fair enough. And. Over to you. What do you wish to do? Where do you wish to investigate? Uh, just investigate all the buildings to we see if there's any sign of life since we've been here. Yeah, and we're coming. Are we coming down the road into it? No, sneaking around the back. Like no, the you're actually you you are actually yeah. sorry. Uh, my apologies. North is actually in that direction. So you are coming in from this side. From the uh, from this side, I can't see. Uh, Sorry, you're coming in from this side. What's so happening again? I've zoomed out. Which way? We're coming in from three o'clock or nine o'clock or what? Hang on a second. Sorry, I was on the wrong layer when... <laughs> with the ping. <laughs> you are coming in from this direction. Got it, yeah. Yes, yeah. six o'clock. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Then we will come up to that first big building in front of us. Okie doke. Look in the window. It is unpopulated. Any signs of recent habitation? No, no, the the village still appears deserted. There, there are signs that wild creatures have been around. Um, yep. And you know where you dragged all the bodies to. It was so, somewhere in the woods off to the north, uh, off, off to the... Yeah. Uh, to, to the 11 o'clock on the map. Yep. So there's a. The, there are signs of wild creatures around, but no signs of what you would call sentient creatures. Nothing nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. We'll go around that building to the left. Okay. 
This way. So we can see into the, so we can see into the village square if you like. Yep. Yep. Um, there has been bad weather and rain since mm -hmm. all the uh, the episodes that happened took place here. So the tracks and the blood, etc., have all been messed up and uh, and have gone and faded. So the village itself is looking a bit more disreputable. There's no there's no recent footprints. No signs of any recent activity at all, no. Okay. In that case we'll start with the nearest building and check the buildings in clockwise order. Okay. <laughs> well you did you did have a quick go through when you were here before because uh well Kosa had nipped off and you had I think one ambulatory and two kind of laying there not particularly well. So walking wounded. So one of you was wandering around checking the place out. Uh, so you are looking to see if there's any anything concealed, correct? Yep. Or concealed or, or recent activity, yeah. Recent activity also, yeah. Okay, no. Sounds like fresh footprints, well. a fire recently out. Yeah. Fresh clothes, a bit like. Yeah. Uh, not that you can tell. Um, okay. It's it, it it just looks deserted. Can you happy Kinzo that it's deserted? That certainly appears to be. But let's check all the buildings out and see if there's any hid anything hidden or anything like that. So we didn't do a good okay. job last time because most of us weren't fit. Yeah, must be yeah. that. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, we'll okay, then. We'll spot here then. A little bit of time. In right, that case, can I have a, a wit saving throw from each of you, please? No. No chance. Got me a head on backwards. Of course, it's got it. On a three? Oh, no, it's me. Sorry, that's Tim's roll. <laughs> yes, I got it. I made it. <laughs> I saw the 18 and I thought, oh no, but I think this is that was Kinzo. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, not what I found. Uh... Such does indeed make it. Can I have a luck roll from you, please, Kosa? What? What do you want? What sort of dice? A luck roll is 3d6. Any sixes 3D6. are positive luck. Any ones yep. are negative luck. Four, five, one. Okay. You do find um, there was obviously something under one of the beds in here. It was the... Yep. Uh, but uh, it looks like it, 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 it's it's been broken. Okay. Mm. It was a... Um, earthenware pot of some kind um, some animals obviously knocked it over and unfortunately uh, the contents have, have, have got spilled and, and dried up is it, what, what did it look like is it food or drink maybe can we tell um, well cure you can have a smell and it doesn't smell like any sort of drink that uh, that he's used in his cooking mm doesn't smell anything like sake. It's, it wasn't water because there's some residue. Um, no, odd. What taste? No, no, it's it, it, it's dried up. Basically, oh. there is a. You can see where it's spilled, and there's a discoloration on the soil. Yeah. So it wasn't water because otherwise it would have just spilled and then yeah. dried That's up completely. Enjoying. So it's obviously evaporated, but um, it, it's just left a le left a discoloration on the soil. <clears throat> okay, have we searched everywhere else already? You have searched everywhere else. You had a good look around. Okay. Um, in Looks your fun. opinion, it was the lighter of the two guys who were sleeping in this hut that you found the, uh, yeah. the jar underneath. Yes, I think that was the leader's place, wasn't it? Well, that looks like it. If someone else has got any of our ideas. Interesting to know what the jar was, if it was something he was drinking or... 
Well, if you uh, is there any residue in the broken pottery? Uh, well, there's it, it dried up there as well. It obviously crusted on the inside of the pottery. In right. that case, take the broken pot and we'll take it away and maybe a herbalist can tell us what it was. Yeah. What colour was that? The residue? Uh, sort of darkish brown. Yeah. Yeah, let's take that to a herbalist. Okay, Doc. Uh, do you wish to look anywhere else around the village? Everybody else. And you've had a good look. There's nothing of value left in the village. The the, the houses need a fair bit of work before they're, they're, they're going to be really livable. Um, they'd obviously... Is that, a, is that a well in, in the middle? The thing in the middle, is that a well? Yes, it is. What is it? It is. It's a well. Is it Has active? It Does it have water? Uh, we'll pull the there, up. Uh, there isn't a bucket there. Oh, no bucket. If we drop something in it, is there water? Do we hear a splash? Um, drop a stone uh, in? Well, the, 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 there's some old rope round round the the, the roller at the top of the wall, but it's the end hanging down is frayed. So you would guess that the bucket's probably down in the well. Drop a stone in and listen for a splash. You hear a splash. Okay. So there is obviously water there. Yeah. How deep does it appear to be? Um, in that location, let me just look at the map. Uh, there, I would say it's probably about 15 feet. Did we see any, any usable rope in any of the buildings when we scavenged around? Well, not that you would take away and trust to carry your way, but um, you you could probably double it up, and you know, in the short term, it would probably do. So yes, you you can find trouble. something that would qualify. Just either of you fancy climbing down? Who's the latest? I the guy know. with the lowest health, I would guess. That's probably not me then. Um, no, 21 for Kosa, 21 for you, and 21 for Kinzo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look like you're, you lot are the three stooges. You're kind of all kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody Go got any particular skill? In that case, who's the next? Who's the the the, the lowest strength? I've just got base fifteen. I'm slightly more than that. Uh, Kosa fifteen, Kyoyu fifteen, Kinzo fifteen and a half. Um, <laughs> now you are all pretty much Very similar. similar. I will yeah. go, gents. I will volunteer. You. Yeah. You feel confident climbing up and down? Uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm a docker. We have to have the rope. Do you want us to tie the rope to you? Tie the rope to me, yeah. Okie doke. Okay. Um, you, you do know how to use rope for this sort of thing. It is... So you can double it up sufficiently that you will be sure it will carry his weight. Um, and I'm not going to have you make a climbing roll because you'll basically just lower him down and he will... Mm. Uh, hold on to the rope. Uh, it's not really something you want to try climbing down the inside of because it would be a diff difficult climb. So just go down on the rope and you should be okay. The climbing back up on the rope, that's something we train every day as Badoka, isn't it? Rope climbing and stuff like that for upper body strength, core strength. But why climb up? It's tied round your waist to stop you falling in. <laughs> okay, I'll go down. Okay. So, you lower um, cure you down into the well, and his feet touch the water, rises to his ankles, up to his knees, up to his thighs, up to his waist, 
Let me know when you're stopping. Um, it's up to him to shout stop. <laughs> I just want to see how far down it goes. Up to, up to his chest. <laughs> I'll see how it stops now then. Okie doke. Uh, you can't feel bottom at the moment. Okay. Uh, I've not got anything I can poke down. Did I find the bucket? Uh, you haven't found a bottom yet. And the bucket wouldn't be at the bottom, it would float at the top. Would it? Aye, it's made of wood. It might float, it might not. If we made of wood, it would surely. If we made of wood and all lacquered and shit. Mm. Yeah, but it might be leaky. <laughs> you haven't found a bucket. Oh, okay. Do you want us to drop a pole down to you? Yeah, well, lower a pull down to me gently. You don't drop it in case it lands on the head. Yeah. But yeah. All right. Fair Are you enough. able to hold him, Kinsey? Oh, quick. Uh, well, let, let's tie him off to something so that uh, he doesn't pull. Yeah. You can ro you can tie the rope off to the roller up above. The 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 well structure itself seems solid. It's just the the, the rope had rotted. But he's not yeah. noticed any holes or anything in the lining, is it, on the way down? No. Um. Well, he wasn't really looking. I was. I would have been. I'm, I've put my hands and feet on the walls as I go around. Yes, and the, the wall in front of you that you're looking, you didn't see anything. Okay. Whether there was anything in the wall behind you or on either side of you... Would there not be turning as I was going down? No, you'd be guiding you yourself down up. cab. You can have a look on the way up. <laughs> okay, you right. you kind of tie him off and lower a, a, a old piece of wood or yeah. something. Okay, you're gonna have a poke around on the bottom. Yeah, see if I'm uh, it, it, about it another uh, five feet beneath your beneath your feet to reach the bottom, and you do kind of bang on something which could be a bucket. Right, so it's about eight feet deep the water, and it, you appear to be uh, kind of if if you push down with the pole, it goes into gravel. Right. Gonna try and hook the bucket with the pole. Try and get it up. Um, right, so you're trying to poke around, find the handle. Yeah. And then try and uh, just, lever it. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you just go under? Yeah. Find it with your foot and then go under. Pull it up. Well, it, it's five foot down below his feet. Yeah, and, so, and you've got right. me tied off, so I can't go further down. Well, we can always untie it and let the house some more slack. Is it worth it for a bucket and a well? <laughs> well, um, you're down there, you might as well do it. You're not likely to, you're to struggle to pick it up otherwise. Yeah, okay, I'll go swim down for it. Just dive down and uh, yeah. pick it up and bring it to the surface. Yeah. See what, what it is. Yeah, I'm going to uh, okay. yeah, Fair enough. Feel around to feel the button. Uh, in that case, you untie the rope. Um, you can dog. Uh, you can uh, kind of keep yourself on the surface with your basic swimming. It's not difficult. Um, I'm assuming that you stripped off your winter clothing before oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you descended. Yeah. A bit chilly, but uh... yeah. In actual also, fact, also water. We'd have put the down... water down there isn't as cold as you would expect. I would have put a few things down as well, just so that I'm not lightly encumbered anymore as well. Well, yes, you'd have dropped everything off. Oh, you'd have to leave it off. off the top. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, you are a Budoka. You do not need... <laughs> Your entire body is a weapon. Okay, so, uh, you duck below the surface and... Uh, you know, push yourself down off the wall, and you can feel with the bucket with your foot. Um, do you want to try and hook it with your foot yeah. through the, the, the lid? Yeah, I should have. And or other. Okay. Uh, try and just make a, a, a definite saving throw. Six. No problem. You hook your foot through the metal um, handle of the bucket and uh, lift your leg up and grab it with your hand and you have a bucket full of water um, which you pull up to the surface uh, it is a wooden bucket but it's a metal bound wooden bucket with a metal handle 
Okay. So it is, as a whole, it is heavier than water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you tip the water out Excellent. and yeah, yeah. just kind of rest it on the surface, it, it will float, but quite deeply. Mm -hmm. um, you let but some water in, it'll sink. If you, as soon as you let some water in, it'll sink. Yeah, okay. Um, so we're going to take this water sense. out, grab a sample of this to see if it's anything to do with that brown stuff. Uh, well, you can try pulling him plus a bucket full of water up if you want. It's water, isn't it? I can't see the water being up in this can you? Just a well, village well. Yeah. Yeah, like, what's the point of me going down if, if we're not taking a sample of the water? Well, well, we had, I suggest you have a feel around on the bottom. In case you throw anything down the well. Yeah. Basically, if he's tied it off to one of the ropes, I'll pull, I'll pull it up and we'll take the bucket away with us. Yeah. Can uh, I yeah. go back down and feel around for other bits on the on the, on the ground then? Okey doke. Uh, right. In that you case, could I have here. a? Sorry. You might have hidden treasure down here. Could I have a swimming BCS? For... Right. So it's my swimming skill. Mm -hmm. Is it on the sheet? Yes, it's one of your base skills. Base skills. So if you look underneath your skills, you'll see uh, there's a little table, climbing, leaping, brawling. Sw and where's that? K49. K49. Or 48, maybe. Okay. Oh, yeah, I see them. So swimming is five, okay. Six. Ah, good. Okay. Um, you are feeding around on the bottom of the well, and you find quite a number of, um, doesn't feel like gravel there, that's Coins, something coins. Round. Yes, actually. <laughs> Start to gather them up. Okay, uh, you do gather, uh, quite a few coins. Oh, nice. Um, Throw the bucket I mean, you, down, lads. You, 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 you'll have to keep rising up to the surface. Yeah, put the bucket down on the rope, lads. Okay. Yep. And I'll just I'll fill up the bucket. Okay. Can I have a deftness saving throw from you, please? Cure you. I hope so. Just to see whether you miss any. Nine. Right. In that deftness. case. Uh... Base saving throw is five. Uh, you recover sixteen copper and five silver from the bottom. Um, and in your um, uh, meandering about, you did find what seemed like old bits of, of, of rotted leather. I'm going to grab a couple of bits of them as well and throw them up. Mm. Okay. Unless you feel well, like they're just... It's well, quite obvious they were like a coin purse that's just disintegrated in the water. It, it, it feels like it was something like that. Ah, okay. So I'll just leave that. That's just been a bag of coins thrown down here yeah. in the purse that's disintegrated. Okay. Uh, Is okay. that something the Japanese would normally do? Throwing money down a well? or Is it a special well? I don't know. It? Might have been just hiding it. When they seen somebody come in. Okay, something you might get thing. somebody occasionally drop something down the well, but um, well, the, the the purse seems rotted leather, so leather takes quite some time to rot. Yes, it's been down there some time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can I have another D twenty from you, please, cure you? That's a nice little find. Three. Is that good? The bear be. Usually, well, as as Usually. you were pulling him up, um, he did notice that the the light was catching one of the uh, the stones at the, uh, towards the base of the well slightly oddly. Oh, what's this? I'm going go back down for it. Okay. Um, you do find that the the stone is 
one of the wellstones, but it just seems to have been... It, it's not mortared in. I'll pull it out. Well, after all this time, it's not so much pulling it out. You're going to have to work it out some. Right, okay. Um, it's I'll... not something you can easily do with with just your hands. It's it, it's kind of jammed in place. Okay, I can smack it out with the butt of an Uncharku or with my Yawada or whatever it's called. I've got a bit uh, of a heavy instrument. We can just get you some, uh, get you a piece of wood. Or the that pole. Help yeah, the pole. I could just smack it with the pole. Well, you're probably going to need a blade to to, to scrape yes. the stuff out of the the joints because something thin. Yeah, because right. okay. moss and so on has filled up the crack, etc. Okay, I'll come back so... up to the top and tell the boys. I found a. Well, you can call it up and they can lower stuff down. Yeah, yeah. I found a loose okay. brick here, boys. It's hiding something. I need to dig it out. Have you got a blade, the panto or something? Can I have a, 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 a another D20? Yeah. Sure, we can find some kind of uh, things in, something in the kitchens. I'm going to get a shit one eventually, haven't I? Six. Fair enough. Um, well, it, it's cold, but you're, you're, you're still okay. I'm hard. You made your health saving throw. <laughs> nice. Not starting to shiver yet. Uh, yeah, okay, they cool. lower something down and you, you scrape the moss, etc., out from the joint. Nice. Uh, and that actually makes it easier to, to, to knock it about and eventually you manage to lever it out. And there is a, 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 an opening in the well and obviously some sort of. Uh, Splash. Uh, concealed niche behind it. What's in it? Okay. Uh, are you reaching in? Oh, yeah. Because it is dark, you can't see. Oh, yeah. Okay. Deafness saving throw, please. Oh, how many? How many of these are you going to have to roll now? I think we've got a bad one eventually. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> 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 okay. Luckily, I was only winding you up on. <laughs> Good. Was that a red heading roll just to tease you? Was that it? was a red heading roll, yes. You reach in and you find um, there's something metal in there. Blade? Not sharp? Nope. Pull it out, try and pull it out. Seems to be some sort of small statuette. Oh, pull it out. Carefully. Uh, I don't want to damage it. Um, righty ho. It appears to be a small statuette of a lady in old dress, antique dress, formal dress. Okay, well, does it look like it's being dog? Difficult to tell down a well. Yeah, let's get back up right here. Anything else behind it? Uh, you reach in and feel around and no. Okay. No. Okay. I will head back up and show this to the boys. Look what uh, I found. Well, it will help him up. Help uh, him up. Huh? Help him get dry and get warm. No, oh, appreciate that. Thanks very much. Are you going to give me like a big hug with a towel? Like. Get the towel around me and hug me. Yeah. <laughs> like a mum with a kid. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, cold. It okay. must be cold. And you've been down there a while. It must yeah, be cold. Yeah. Well, it was worth it, boys. Look at this. Shows you the bucket of coins and statuette. Yeah. Um, think so. That looks to be your 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 Shinden. That that's the sort of statue you've seen around shrines. I mean, that. you don't really know any more than that without making a Shinten roll, and on a one, not got a lot of chance, but you've seen them around shrines. Why would something like this be hidden? Uh, okay, that that's some sort of religious statuette which you'll need to take to a shrine or a temple to get identified. Hmm. And put back where it should it, be, um... it shouldn't be down a well. Well, maybe, I don't know, should it be down a well? Maybe it's put down there for a reason. Maybe it's cursed. Well, I, I would think I it's put, put down it. there for a reason, because somebody took the time and effort to hollow... Yeah. yeah to, to hide it in the wall, yes. Yeah. Under the mm. water. 
And this was lower than water level. No, no, it was above that the That was water. above water level, right, okay, yeah, so it wasn't that hidden. hard to get to. It was still mm. hidden, though. So Does it look like a, a depiction of a materacy? No. Uh, it, it, it's... You would guess it's probably a female kami of some kind, uh, but it certainly doesn't match Amaterasu. Those are very, very obvious. Um, but who knows? Uh, we haven't found a Tori gate here, have we? No, you haven't. So I was thinking it might be it might be the Kami of Place. Could possibly, yes. Uh, um, well, We'll wrap it on when we get back. Hmm. We'll try making a Shinten roll and see how close you get. You're joking. You could still roll a 1. I mean, Kyo, you just rolled a 20. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that was when it didn't go. Oh, not bad. Um, nice. Well, it, it's close enough. You don't recognise it, but it could certainly be a Kami of Place. Possibly um, protecting the well. Who knows? Anyway, um, but yes, it, it's bronze, so it's it, it's not something that's going to corrode or or, 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 or rust or anything like that. Pretty so valuable as well. It's probably quite valuable. I mean, does anybody have um, appreciation of, of, of statuary and carvings and such like? No? Is that, is that a skill? No, I don't think you would. I thought that was a little... <laughs> I don't think we discussed that oh, one in character creation, I don't think you gave me the option. You made your commerce roll by three. Oh, nice. No, failed it by three. Oh, failed oh, it by three. Failed it by It's obviously very valuable. Um, <laughs> <laughs> No, there, there is actually a skill, a practical art, in making dolls and small uh, items of religious significance. So I know. if you had that skill, then you might uh, have a, an idea, but no, no. Anyway, okay, you haul. Cure you back up to the surface. Cure you gets to dry off and make one last health roll. With a bonus after my hug. Yep, he's perfectly okay. He's survived his immersion and the cold water uh, w without ill effects. Well, he, he always has said that he's got a hard body. It looks like he's right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Well done. So you... It trips over sometimes, but it's, it's quite hard. <laughs> 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 okay. Um, anything else you want to do around the village before you leave? Oh, sorry. Did you put the stone back, cure you before you left? Or I would did you say so. I would say so. Okay. Uh, well, now you've cleared it out, it does slide back in reasonably easily. Okay. Okay. So it. Okay. Now you think about it, it does seem as though it's designed for reasonably easy removal. Mm -hmm. It's not been designed where it, the, the well's been built with that in it and then it's been sealed in forever like that's a feature of the well to protect it uh it's not been sealed in forever if it had been there would have been more no, in that crack yeah yeah, yeah yeah you would not have found it because it would have been built and then the wall would have been finished off you would not have even Aye. seen it exactly yeah, yeah exactly. so it's meant to come in and out it, it looks yeah, like it was that put in a cap yeah cavity was put in and it was put in rather than it was built as part of the wall here Oh, well done. Okay. Then do you want to do any more around wandering around before we get you back to the others? Um, well, what are, what are the wee smoky buildings over here, Dave? Just out of curiosity. Sorry. What are the wee smoky buildings? The wee smoky round buildings. Wee smoky round buildings? Yeah, yeah over here. The bottom right corner. Uh, bottom right corner. Uh, charcoal. They they were used for. Uh, Kilns. Kilns, yes. Got you, got you. Cool. No, no more questions about this village. Okay, we'll head off back to meet to where the others are. Yeah, back right to the I camp. will move you back to the main map. 
Oh, that's turned out more profitable than one might have expected. Well, yeah. Glad, yes. glad I went down yes. that well, boys. That was just a wee hunch, and I thought, yeah. have a wee look. It was, good, it was a good idea to go there, Kinzo, and it was just well done down the well, Kiryu. Yeah, it was not bad, lads. Okie uh, So, do you make it safely back? You actually do. Oh. So you reach the, the campsite and rejoin Asakura and the Apprentice. Have they had a quiet day? Um, they've had a quiet day. They've uh, um, managed to get some more wood so that uh, there's a decent amount to, to keep you warm. Right, I'm, I'm going to ask the other two. Are we going to show Asakura and the Apprentice what we found? What do you think? I don't sales? think we should show the Apprentice. I think we should wait till we are back on our own. Okay. Back in WOK. Yeah, okay. just keep that amongst ourselves. Righty ho. Uh... So, you spend the night there. Uh, despite there being storm clouds today, there wasn't actually any rain. Unfortunately, what? unfortunately, about two o'clock in the morning, <laughs> uh, the heavens open. And you, you basically get woken up and the rest of the night is miserable it's steady rain from then on uh you can you can probably just about keep the fire in if you keep throwing fresh wood onto it to dry out um but you don't get a lot how about, of sleep. how about we make for nobioka now because we're not going to get any sleep oh huh? might as well just go for the night yes. sick yeah we'll we're sit off, sleep. sitting here being cold and miserable Okay. Be about three o'clock in the morning you set off and you, 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 you reach the road and then you travel down towards Nobioka and you get there about midday and um, the gates are open but there's very little traffic on them there's nothing really happening on the on the construction the new construction on the wall uh, and you're just glad to get the, the apprentice back to, to to Matsura's shack. So you stumble in, soaking wet, <laughs> looking depressed. The the, the apprentice uh, uh, apologises to his master, but uh, it, it doesn't look as though there are any further portals in the cliff. And the cliff itself, the rock face appears un to have been destabilised by the recent earthquake that we had. So. It's probably going to need a lot of um, stone removal to make it stable to work safely against. So while they can get lump rock off there for burning for, for cement, they're not going to be able to quarry any any decent stone out of it until they get further back into the cliff. Which doesn't actually bother Matsura because he was only going to be mining it for, be quarrying the for rock anyway. stone for, for, for cement initially uh, anything for construction would be a bonus but uh, uh fine well he's glad you got his apprentice back safely mm -hmm. and he will pay you uh, nine copper a head for the three okay. days Thank that you. you've been away sorry no 12 copper head because it's uh it's actually been four days What day do we get back? Uh, you arrive back 25 Kikuzuki. Plus 12 copper, you said? 12 copper each, yes. If you can add some to Asakura, he'll be most great. I'll get that. Okie doke. And then, presumably, you're travelling on. Arms Warehouse. Mm -hmm. yes. One shoes place. <laughs> uh, 
have to rename his shack the Armory, won't we? <laughs> okay. <laughs> you arrive back at his place, and... Well, is he in? Uh, he's not actually in at the moment. So you'll have to hang around in the rain a little while. Oh, you can get it. You can you can stand under the the eaves and out of the yeah. wind, so you can just be miserable rather than terribly miserable. Uh, <laughs> but he arrives back about an hour or so later, uh, welcomes you back, opens up the uh, his shack and uh, ushers you in, lights up a brazier, um, suggests you get out of those wet things and put some dry clothes yeah, on. Good idea. Uh, and he will uh, brew up some tea to uh, warm you all up. It's not a very nice day, and nothing really happening on the docks today. So, uh, okay. Very rushed up the rest of the day, anyway. Uh, 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 well, I have healed up by now, Dave. I've still left with six lethal damage after that fight. Well, you've been travelling all the way. So, uh, let me just double check the healing rules. Asitruda still has three subdual and three lethal as well. Well, yeah, subdual have got actually lethal agreement. Okie doke. So, looking back to healing. So, healing and lethal. Um, so, you have been traveling. So, you have been traveling less than your BMA. You haven't fought. Um, Uh, so you will g you would have got back your healing rate minus two per day. Okay, I'll be fully healed then. Okay, yeah. uh, you Thank you. And Asakura will also be healed. Yes. And Kyoyu's headache has gone completely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right, so you have some nice hot tea, you warm up around the brazier, you have clean dry clothes on, uh, what do you wish to do for the rest of the afternoon? Because it, it's basically just after lunch just, and you get to not be up. Just rest up I think. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to go to the kitchen and grab a drink. I still can hear you, but wireless headphones and phone can speak. Jolly good. Mm. Uh, well, once you will ask how things went. Yeah, that, I don't think the uh, quarries. Well, there's no no uh, are those none of those fancy crystals there. Uh, which crystals? And, and, uh, when we went before, we found some strange crystals. Oh, right. Um... Which, uh, but Sora got us to take up to the uh, castle to sell the, uh, the Castle of the Flame is called, is it? Castle of the Flame, yes. Castle well, he knew you'd the gone there on some sort of uh, yes. mission for Matsura, but he didn't know but what it, it was. Sent us back with his apprentice to see if there are any more, but there aren't any. Couldn't oh. find any more in there. The whole thing itself seems, you know, fairly unstable with all these earthquakes. Yes. Uh... Uh, people are concerned about that. It's it 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 it's it, it, it's worrying for people. Uh, what, mm. What's upsetting the Kami? Yes, um, I don't think you'll be getting any quality stone blocks out of that one for a while. Perks up a little bit. That oh really? Uh, could there be a shortage? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know much about building, I'm afraid. Certainly not any stone. Yes, well, it, it's not really 
something you know we merchants get involved in very much because yeah. it's so heavy that's the problem um, yeah. the daimyos normally just get their uh, their, their, their underlings to quarry it uh, to, 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 to to suit but uh, a bit like that quarry that you you, you went to and did, did that little job <coughs> for us in uh, but, uh, yeah. uh, oh well uh, Looks a little bit sad that an opportunity to to make money has will pass him by. <laughs> um, but no, he's he, he, he thanks you for helping his uh, his friend out again. And, uh, uh, did you get anywhere with the the, the treasurer? He asked with interest. Yes, uh, yes, he paid up paid up what was owed to us. He 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 gives you a deep bow. He he didn't expect that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I thought I'd have a bit more trouble, but he seemed quite keen to pay it. Oh, well, he's, he's normally a bit of a skinflint, but uh, yes, well, obviously I you know how to handle it. <laughs> well, yes, I think he, I think because he's dealt with me with before, he knew that you know I wasn't the man to be messed around with. <laughs> <laughs> That point, Kizo will just collapse. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, he, he'll remember that if he if he needs to kind of try and slide anything past the, that gentleman in the future. Um, <laughs> send Kosa to divert attention. <laughs> okay, um, the, the 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 rest of the afternoon passes relatively peacefully and. Um, once you will give you what, what gossip is in Nobioka, not a tremendous amount to be honest. Um, is the weather terrible the rest of the afternoon? Or is it... It's steady rain all day. Right. Uh, the, 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 there's almost half an inch of rain falls throughout the day as a whole. So it's Staying not there. nice weather to be out. And the, the, the temperature is pretty low as well. It's, it's it, Below ten, it's uh, yeah, it's below ten degrees. So it's it's cold it. and wet. I've got something to do, but I'll leave it till the morning if the weather's safe. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it, it's definitely not a day to to be going out. It's not even doing anything. Well, it's a, it's a day to stay and do those jobs you had to do inside. So mm -hmm. he, he he will kind of sit down and get on with his paperwork and. Uh, update is. Uh, what are we on the twenty fifth, Ben? Uh, this is actually the twenty fifth. Yes. What do you think about doing some trying to find some shuriken jitsu training next week, please? Well, that's what I was going to do. I was going to go out and find out what training's available next week. Yeah, me too. Uh, Kid duck. Should we just go together? Just in the morning. Yeah. What's what about it? Well, there's plenty of time to look tomorrow. Um, you you yeah. can go out and have a look today if you want to get another set of. <laughs> Um, fair enough. I mean, your straw raincoats and and hats keep a certain amount of rain off, but you know they get sodden but after a while. Ah, he, he can have an, an afternoon off, boys, can't we? Yeah. Well, I mean, let's face it, Q's not really worried about getting wet, is he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I got wet, it was pretty profitable for us. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> the, okay, so you spend the rest of the way. afternoon there. You um, settle down. You have an early night. Uh, overnight, uh, a, a lot of the, the cloud clears. It's still partly overcast. And you wake up the following morning and it's misty. And it's a little bit... It's warmer than yesterday. A little bit warmer. And... You reckon it's probably going to be a little bit of drizzle during the day, so it's it, it, it's going to be wet air, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Still need your winter clothing on. It's it's still that cold. What do you wish to do? I'm going to take a trip round to the schools and see what's on offer next week. Uh, I'm doing the same thing. Do you want to just go together to the same places? Yeah, we we'll wander around together. Yeah. Skinzo wants to come along. No, I'm going to take that statue to. Uh... The Harvest Shrine, I think it is. Yeah, see what you can find out about it. That's a good idea. Okay, yeah. uh, uh Right, let me just check something.
Sorry, who's coming with me? Uh, Kinzo. And Kinzo's Kinzo. coming with me. Kinzo's going to go to the temple. You're going to so check out the temple. The statue. The statue, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, to the Harvest uh, Shrine. Not, not, oh, sorry, not to one of the temples. The shrine, yes. Yes. Okie doke. So... That's a courier, might as well go with Kinzo. It depends if he wants to train. Yeah, well, he might, he might want to do training. Probably not in Shuriken Jetsu, yeah. but... Not the same as us, probably. Uh, but we're going to martial arts school, so he'll probably find something in the same place. Um, there appears to be some sort of rituals going on in the Harvest Blessing Shrine this week. Uh, three of the priests aren't involved, but uh, four of them uh, appear to be doing some sort of ritual, probably cleansing it or something. Um, so there are three priests free. Uh, Faransu Hiruma. Arji Nanika and Gareji are all free. What was that last one? Just... Gareji. Uh, isn't he the, the guy who went with us to... Um... Yes. The ABK? Gareji? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Oh, I'll really ask to see him then. Oh, right. He, 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 he is free, so he will see you. Right, um... Kind of you to see me, uh, Bonds. My friends and I were uh, investigating an, an old bandit camp, which is an abandoned village, and we came across this. Show him the stuff. And he will make try and make his Shinten roll. Let us see whether he makes it or not. Uh, Shinten is that the religion? Uh, yep. Yeah, cool. I'm picking it all up eventually, like. Do you Japanese from the next thing on your logo? <laughs> uh, yes, he believes that's an image of a a, a kami of place. Um, he he points out the various symbols and um, the, the 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 lay of the cloth. That that that's flowing like water. So it's 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 a kami of uh, 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 associated with water and. Um, he, he he doesn't know the the individual kami itself. The, you know, there, there are obviously ten million kami in, in Nippon as a whole. But uh, it, it, he he would say that's a statue to a kami of place associated with water. Well, we found a hidden in in a pocket behind a well wall in this abandoned. Thing. Oh, um, well, in that case, he would expect that it's actually a, a statue to, 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 to the Kamiya place of the well and it would probably be you know, on an annual basis it would be um, um, uh, blessed by a, 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 a priest and <coughs> they would thank her, the village would thank her for um, provi uh, providing pure water for the village um, I see so, could we ha could I have a blessed and, and then take her back and put her back in the well? You, you certainly, my son. Um, and... No, I'm not there. But is there any point doing that in an abandoned village? Is there any point having blessed water in an abandoned village? Shouldn't you use it for more useful purposes, like blessing a village that has people in it? Uh, no, because it's a calming of place of that village. Ah, right. Okay. Okay, um, well, one second. Who's clicking up in? <laughs> he is, he, he, he would actually be able to arrange for that um, tomorrow. Uh, he and one of his other priests will, will perform a ceremony of, uh, of, of, of thanks and blessing and, and sorry, cleansing, thanks and blessing. Excellent. Um, and he will thank you for um, finding it and uh, renewing the the, the, the chain of, uh, of thanks to the Kamis of the of the, of the land. 
Uh, um, can, 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 if, if, you, if you want to give him details as to where it is, he, he will enter it into the records of the, of the shrine so that people know that it's there. Okay, well, basically, I'll tell him the, the approximate location of the village, uh, which he might be able to find out from the, the Kufu or the local samurai what its name Okay, well, he will actually suggest um, uh, that he goes along to the uh, and talks to the, uh, the, the, the daimyo's administration and find out what that village was and why it was abandoned because it looked I mean the way it looked to you it, it was obvious it wasn't a, a, a full village it was uh, an outpost that was probably used for exploiting the forest around that area so why it was abandoned who knows but well, he, I, I shall leave it in your good hands sir. Hmm. certainly well if, if you wish to come to the ceremony tomorrow um, he, he would be delighted for you to attend I shall certainly be there. Okie doke. Please add one um, to your relationship with the Harvest Blessing Shrine. Excellent. <laughs> Please. Okie doke. Meanwhile, uh, various people were going to go and have a look and see what training was available next week. So, 28. So it would be the first week in Kaminosuke, I believe. Let me just double check that. Time is certainly passing. It is indeed first week in Kaminosuke. Right, uh, in that case, there's not a great deal being taught at the uh, There are, each of the three temples are running classes in Butsudo. And there are also classes available in Hiragana and Karma Yoga. The Harvest Blessing Shrine is actually running two classes in Shinten, as well as a class in Hatha Yoga. Uh, there are no classes at the other two shrines. At the Flower of Hayuga School, there are classes in Senjo Jutsu, Calligraphy, Ei Jutsu, and Hojo Jutsu. The Rice Harvest School is teaching Boya, and at the Art of Go School, they are teaching Go and School of Wood. And the Moving Wave School is teaching Jujutsu, Karma Jutsu, and Jojutsu. Okay. Of course, if you wish to ask somebody to teach you something else, then you can always try and do that. Remind me what AI, AI Jutsu is, because I've got a little bit of that. AI Jutsu is fast draw. Fast draw, that's right, yeah. Effectively, if you successfully make an AI Jutsu roll, then you can draw your weapon and strike in the same action. Yeah. Does that have any effect when you're using shurikens as well? Can you use them faster? Um, as far as shuriken jutsu is concerned, if you don't have a weapon in hand, you need to, to, to draw it out. So you don't normally carry your shuriken ready in your in hand. In your hand, yeah. So EI jutsu would allow you to would, uh, would pull it out shuriken, and release yeah. a shuriken on the same roll, yeah. but it's well, not really a benefit. I think we were all interested in shuriken jutsu, so maybe we're going to try and convince somebody to do that. What do you think? What was the one that we had the best relations here? Flower of Hayuga School, we've got group status 11 there. Moving That's Waves it. is what I've visited the most. Group status 19, yeah. No, Moving Wave group status 10, it's it's Dragon, no. Yeah, sorry, 19, yeah, it is 19. Hmm. I think you've spent yeah. most of your time at the Moving Waves. Yeah, yeah, I'm Castle of the Flame, yeah, I've got a 12 so. as well, but that's a different place, Castle of the Flame, that's up the road, isn't it? Yeah, it just, it just a, a trip out there. That's where the uh, Achijo is, isn't it? Achijo, yep. where you call them. Yeah, that's a trip out. So I'm moving waves. Should we try somebody there, see if anybody there wants to do um, Turikin Jutsu? Yeah, why not? And uh, 
there's a couple of us, so that's giving us a bonus on the persuasion check. We can chuck him a couple of silver, maybe. If he, probably if he you might better go for, but get better chance if you do like two weeks for the more weeks. Go like for two weeks training. I'll be up for that. Mm. Um, and what's Kid, what's Kenzo gonna do? Is he gonna come? Kenzo, what do you fancy training? doing? Uh, if they're training Shuriken Jutsu, I'll, I'll train that. We need to convince them to yep, do it first. So three, three of them, this. There's three, three of us asking. Three of us asking. What's your status there? I think yours is higher than mine, isn't it? Uh, I thought it was the group status that mattered. Yeah, what is it? What's yours? I think yours is higher than Oh, do we have a different group status? I thought that was our group status. No, no, no. No, right. I've got 19 now. Yeah, it's higher than mine, so lately. So, so I'll you should lead. Yeah. Okay, but we've got two of us to back it up, so that's plus <laughs> one, plus one. And then we'll chuck a silver each, so that's plus three. Yeah. Chuck a silver in each, yeah. So we get a plus five on the on the roll, I think. We need to go find something first, though. <laughs> Calculating rolls, we've not spoken to anybody yet. Dave? Sorry? Can we go yep. check out the moving wave temple, see if somebody there wants to teach some shuriken jitsu for two weeks? With three uh, of us, three of us talking, and I'm me leading with a group status of 19 and three silver bribe. Okay, three of us. So you're three students. Three students. Group state is a nineteen lead in it. Okay, the people who are if you're going for the people running a class already, then that is two five and six. So that would be Matsudaya is probably your best. He's the most senior tutor there. So in that case, um, <coughs> you'll need to roll a, B uh, a, a status BCS to begin with. So your status BCS is, uh, I think, three at the moment. Is that the global status number? Uh, it's your global status. Three. Where are we? Let's just check that. Uh, so cure you. Sorry, no, it's your group status. My nineteen. Um, so that is nineteen, which would give you a status BCS of. Three plus your level, which one. is one, so that's a four. Uh, because you are uh, talking to somebody who's already um, working, you get plus five. Plus three because you, there's three of you want plus, plus three, eight. plus three silver. And uh, you added another plus three, so you was it one silver each? Mm hmm. Yeah. So effectively, so that's eight, eleven. So it'd be plus eleven on uh, your status BCS. So it's gone up from four to fifteen, and you rolled a fifteen. Hey. <laughs> easy, easy roll. In that <laughs> case, yes, you will be able to get two weeks training in Shuriken Jutsu. Nice. What's the guy's name? Um, the teacher that you will be dealing with to begin with is Matsu Daira. M A T S U D A I R A. He's the second um, teacher in the school. M A T S U D A I R A. Matsu Daira. Matsu Daira. Nice. So, Thank you. 
Fine, you return to the um, docks and therefore uh, you can spend the rest of the day out of the mist and fog. All right. Right, so let me just update the diary. Is there anything else you want to do wandering around town? I don't think so. Okay. Kinzo, Kosa. Kinzo returns and uh, are you going to tell them what you've arranged, Kinzo? Uh, yes, I shall explain that I, I shall be attending the Harvest Blessings a shrine tomorrow for the rededication of the statue we found, which is indeed a kami, the kami of the well, in which we found her. So we should return it to where we found it. Uh, indeed, I think that's probably the best thing to do, unless the priests tell us different, of course. Okay, hmm. I'll wait to see what the priests say. Okay, doke. In that case, uh, the following day. Um, dawn, still cold, but it's clear skies, dry, just chilly. Uh, anybody else want to go with Kinzo to the Harvest Blessing Shrine? We're not doing anything else today. Okay. You return to the Harvest Blessing Shrine. Can we just take a and... copper off instead of a food bed there? Yes, just take a copper off. You return to the Harvest Blessing Shrine and you are uh, directed to the, uh, the, 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 the bathhouse where you can ritually cleanse yourselves and then a, a, a ceremony will be held to cleanse the statue um, uh, to thank it for its uh, protection of the, the well and to beg for its protection in the oncoming days and <laughs> oh dear oh dear oh dear that's the first one of the day jen <laughs> is it You all get a feeling of <laughs> happiness that 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 you know, all is right with the world, that everything is being done as it should, and you can each add five to your shinten. Ooh, we're shinten. And if you don't have shinten, you can start a fine art of shinten. Ooh. It's a fine art, Shin Ten. How do I spell um, that? S H I N T E N. Is it a this five percent? It, it's a it's a fine art. S H I N T E N. But do I yep. put a bonus under the bonus card? It's not. It's not. A, it's not a bonus. Yeah, F I S. It's not an F I S. And I put five to my permanent. Five to your permanent. So yes. what is it then, Shin Ten? The Shin -ten. religion is knowledge of the religion of Shinto. Yeah, got you, cool. So it, it's knowing your catechism, knowing the names of their kami, knowing the, the dates of the various ceremonies, um, who to invoke to achieve certain things. Mm -hmm. um, and Butsudo, the, the two religions of Nippon are Buddhism and Shintoism. And Butsudo, Butsudo is the study of Butsudo the Buddha. Butsudo is the study of the Bud of Buddhism. I've got six in that. And I've got yep. six and five in Shinten, so I'm studying both. I'm a theologist. No, you're not studying Shinten. You have just you, you have just miraculously gained a, a deeper understanding of the religion, mm -hmm. because <laughs> in, in performing a blessing ceremony on this abandoned statue of a kami. <laughs> the priest critical his, uh, his his blessing role, and the kami took notice. Uh, 
which reminds you, I need to increase his... I can't actually increase his Shinten skill. That's right, I can increase his Shinten skill. Let's just check and see what it is. Uh, well, he could start to learn an Okaden of Shinten. If there is such a... Yes. Uh, so that is Goreji. His Shinten... Ah, that... His, his Shinten does actually... He's, he's, a, he's only a learning, so his Shinten goes up um, as well. And which, which of his mates was it? It was him, and that goes up too. Uh, they, they, they are staggered that um, you, are, you, you, you are obviously blessed by the Kami, um, Kinzo, and, and, and they thank you for um, giving them the honour of, of, of performing um, a, 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 a ritual which is so obviously blessed by the Kami. Add another two to your own to your own status in the in that put in the harvest blessing shrine, Kinzo. Uh, and they yep. they will they will actually call in the Kanushi uh, 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 and explain what happened. Senior priest uh, 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 again thanks you for 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 for, for bringing such honour upon the shrine. <sighs> Well, um, yes, uh, they won't hear of you making a... If you wish to make a donation, they are doing... Um, uh, 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 for, for the benefit of the Harvest Blessing Shrine, that they obviously associated with uh, uh, the Kami more closely. Well, I shall donate five... Um, they, 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 they thank you very much indeed, and... Uh, if you find any other such copies of place, please bring them in for a blessing. I'll donate. Five, <laughs> they won't physically say so, but you know, anything else that you find that that, that, that that they might be able to help you with, they would be delighted to do so. I'm going to leave the donation of five copper as well. Okay. Um, the, the rest of you can gain one in association with the Harvest Blessing Shrine for attending this particular ritual. Is that in groups? Yes, so it's a new group which will be Harvest Blessings. Group standing member. You'll be a member and add one to the um, status. earned status. Right. And the Harvest Blessings is. Uh, what was it? Point four. Uh, point four. So right. you can add a point four in the um, multiple yeah. column. Nice one. Okay, let me Is there a personal bonus in the column out. or anything, though? Or have they populated themselves? Yes. No, I've just, I've just added those. All oh, right. Okay, nice one. So, effectively, um, your group status is, uh, at that shrine is now 11. So your status BCS to get them to do something is 2 plus your level 3. Cool. Okay. Global status is just how you stand in relation to every other person in Nippon. So at the present moment, as a member of the the Budoka class, that far outweighs your status in any other group that you are a member of. For the time being. Okay. If you choose to become a member, you know, a more senior member of school, then you will get position state. So if you are a, 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 a manager in the school, that would give you 60 position status, um, which would um, boost up your, your, your status even more. Hang on a second, that's not adding up. What do I put in personal status and group status, Dave? Uh, right. Sorry, uh, sorry. Let me just. Uh, I just need to drag the the four. Okay, you do it. Yeah, that's it. <clears throat> okay. Oh yeah, that's it. <clears throat> uh, Excellent. Okay. 
Okay, we're having a wild slowly. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... That's better. There was a, an error in the formulas there. Right. So, let's put you back down to um, just more time number of that. Why does it say, yeah. I was going to say, I was just looking at that, why does it say manager on my... <laughs> well, I was just it. saying, if, if, if you actually take a position, work your way oh, into a position... Oh, you were yeah, 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 it changes the... If, if, if you yeah. become a manager, yeah, it then the they would they get a, an initial um, level yeah, yeah. of status due to their position. And that boosts your global so status accordingly. Knight here on an elder, hundred on a head, yeah, I see that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, Dave? Yep. Have they managed to find out the name of this Kami? Right, um, they haven't. They have found out that the village was associated with um, brewing of uh, sake and making of charcoal. And apparently it brewed particularly good sake. But it was abandoned due to being... Uh, due due to, to problems with bandits. Um, mm. decade, decades ago. Um, so, um, the fact that it, the, the, they, they have um, found the Kami of Place, that would probably explain why the Saki was so good from there. So, the, uh, the, 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 the Garagi is going to uh, explain to the, uh, the Daimyo that, uh, or the Daimyo's, um, administration that the kami of the village has made a personal appearance and, and blessed the, the harvest blessing shrine and you are returning her statue to the well and therefore the village well is obviously still blessed and therefore the village is likely to produce extremely good sake going forward if they repopulate it so uh, uh, he believes that the the daimyo may well direct one of his samurai to um, uh, start the village into operation again. That's excellent news. Mm. Well, a source of high quality sake is always. <laughs> Have Especially if it's one that was there before and then run out by bandits. If we can. Resolve that, that's always a great thing. Well, sadly, you know, uh, villages in, 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 out away from civilization are at risk, whether it's bandits or uh, wild creatures or, or demons of the forest. Yeah, but with, if, the, if the daimyo was invested in good raki, uh, good uh, sake, then, sorry, that's, right, that's Greece, uh, good sake, then. Um, Maybe we might invest in some fortification in the village. A couple of guards, a couple of Ashigaru with bows, a couple of towers, a little wood wall around the village. Do you know what I mean? A little bit of fortification. It might be a very valuable place. It might be worth keeping it from going savage again. Well, that would be up to the daimyo, of course. Um... Uh, right. So, I, uh, that was a very successful um, ritual, <laughs> so congratulations on uh, organising it. Thank you very much. Right, I shall take the, the, the statuette and tomorrow I shall return to the, the well. And, one, second, uh, we'll one, second. one second, I'm just going to check something else. Uh, da, 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 What's travel time to the well and back? Because we're studying in two days, no three days. Sorry, it's fine. She better do it in a day, shouldn't we? Just yeah. to start travelling. It's just a three of us. speedy. Yeah, yep. middle class speed, yeah. Yeah, it'd be fine. So... Well, it's not going to take no. us three. No. Three days going with the apprentice at uh, his speed and the yeah, diversion. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> if it's just us, we'll be one day. Let Job me just day check something. Um... Pretty sure that's a good as speedy as well. Yeah, we don't, but it doesn't need to come if it's going to slow us down. 
I don't think he does. I think he's quite fast. Uh, Dasakur is normally fine, but he can push it up um, to seven without too much trouble. And we're normally five, right? Uh, we're normally seven. Oh, we're normally seven, so he is slower than us, right? We could go without him then just to do it quite fast. He can keep up for a couple of days. That should be a problem. Aye, it's not aye. It's not like a, a week's march in, is it? Big, tough, big, strong boy. Right. Used to be a His brother speech. was. He's got some. Big, he's got some big shoes to live in to, to fill. Okay, uh, Kinzo, you are asked to uh, go into one of the side rooms off the temple with. I'll do that. Uh, Kanoshi Shikudo, who is the the uh, senior priest. Um, he is going to. Um, attempt to divine what the Kami wishes. And therefore he gets to roll A, B, C, S. Because the Kami visiting the shrine is is a special event. And you are going back to take her statue back. So boop, 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 D20. Uh, uh, he he doesn't get much out of the divination. Um, yes, returning the statue is the right thing. So therefore, he would suggest taking petals and uh, scatter them on the water and uh, and say a prayer to, uh, to 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 the kami once you have uh, placed her image back in the in in the in the well. Okay. Um, there's no uh, that he can't tell whether there's anything up she wants, but flower petals is is, is normally the sort of thing that, that would be of uh, used in such a thing. Okay. Um, you make sake out of rocks. Pardon? You make sake out of rice. Out of rice. Yes. Well, okay. um, so if we take rice flowers with us, that be suitable. Yes, that would be even more suitable. Yes. Um, you would only be able to get dried right this soon. But, uh, uh, well, I understand that, but I'll go out and buy some. Yes. Okie duck. And... Mm. No trouble whatsoever. <laughs> the first <laughs> shop you go into has some up for sale. So, um... Uh, God, you're being lucky today. Um... Uh, you will be able to buy probably a small bag of rice flowers for uh, for three copper. Excellent. I'll do that. Okie doke. In that case, let me just update the um, the diary to just say it. The Kami visits the shrine. Very good. In that case, uh, you're going to be leaving tomorrow, I believe. So, 28 Kikuzuki. Uh, yeah. Okie doke. In that case, you spend the night in the armory. Again, it's still cold weather. And... Another day's copper. Zero, it's, 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 yes, another day's copper. But you wake to clear skies and gentle breeze in the southeast wafts across you as you leave the city. People are back out working on the, uh, the, the stonework, etc., but they don't seem particularly keen. And does it all pass peacefully on your journey? No. <laughs> okay, how bad is it? Mm -hmm. uh, not too bad. And... Right. 
so you reach here uh, on on the road stopped by a patrol who demands to know what you're doing when you tell them your names um, they recognize Kosa's name as the leader of the, uh, the, the the party who slew so many bandits and who um, Def helped defeat an Araburu car, and, <laughs> and, and and you are allowed to pass with uh, no no problem whatsoever. Admiring glances from the Ashigaru, they they appear to have uh, uh, reacted extremely favourably to you. <laughs> Good. Okay, so you make it all the way to the village without any other problem, and let's see. So that's. One, two, on the road, and then one, two, three. So it's it's only mid-afternoon when you get there. So you have plenty of time to carry out the ceremony of, of, of placing it yep. back in the well. Yep. Who's going down? I presume you would have uh, rope with you rather than using... Yeah, proper rope. rope. <laughs> I was going to volunteer to go down again. I took it out. I should be the one to put it back in, I think. Well, I, I was going to ask Kiru to do it, because, as, as you say, you were the yeah. one who disturbed her in the first place. Yeah, I disturbed yes, her. I didn't know she shouldn't be disturbed. I disturbed her. I'm going to put her back. Um, no. What was explained to you at the shrine, this is all part of... Um, statue of Akami of Place, if, if there is a statue, then it would normally be removed from ah, it's yeah, so I've done that favour. One day a year. Yeah, and it's and, not and, been and, happening because it's been abandoned, so I've done exactly, that favour. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. In that case, you lower cure you back down the uh, the well. The stone comes out quite easily now. You just need to slip a, 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 a blade into it and just lever it slightly and then you can slide it out. Uh, you place the statue, which has been polished up, back into the uh, recess. Replace the stone, and then you are lifted back up the well. Kinzo, do you wish to say a few words? I will say a brief prayer to the Kami, yes. Okay. And scatter the rice petals on the water while I'm doing it. Okie doke. Nothing apparently happens, but you, know, you weren't expecting anything. Uh, I'd be shocked if something did happen, I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you have a look around the village now. Now that you look, yes, the, the, there are places for rice storage. Um, those could have been vats which were used for, for, for brewing the sake. Yes, you can see this village is obviously for, for, for harvesting and creating charcoal and for making sake. But it needs people and it needs a, 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 a bit more of a presence. Okay. And you camp for the night. And... Um, Kinzo, you have a dream that there were there was a bear sniffing around the outside of the forest, which um, uh, is is turned away by the the, 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 the the presence of a kami in the village, and uh, and you feel you have a feeling of warmth in your dream, and you wake up the following morning to find that. Uh, it was actually sub-zero last night. There is frost on the tree. And frost on the ground. But we, we slept quite well, didn't we? Oh yes, you slept very well. You had um, mm. uh, uh, happy dreams. Like I shall mention the dream to my, my colleagues. I say, I think the company is looking after us. Uh, you might like to know in your so this... today, that I intend returning in a year's time. Jolly good. Yeah, take a note of the date. It's 29th Kikazuki. It was 28th we did our ceremony. I'll put a star next to that in my diary. Yeah. 
we get through the months quite fast in this game, we will be we will be playing this. Oh in yeah. Years. Jolly good. Okie doke. When you uh, leave the. Um, Asakura and Kosa noticed uh, some bear tracks on the ground around the outside of the village. Ah, uh, making dream. Mm. In the in the frost. Yes. Disappearing back off to the uh, the, the northwest. Okay, and you travel back to the uh, back to the city the big city and all is peaceful and quiet on the journey so it looks like your dream was true Kinzo mm. I never doubted <laughs> are you going to, to go to the um, Harvest Blessings try and try and report what happened I oh, certainly am. Oh, they, they, they are impressed with uh, what happened. They will add that to the <laughs> message to the daimyo that there is a Kami protecting the village. May not be true, but they're going to add it to the list anyway. <laughs> uh, well, I can't be responsible for what the, the daimyo's people make of you report. Write it well, truthfully and we'll see what happens. Of course. Um, but they, they will uh, they have already um, spoken with the daimyo's people and explained what, what happened they will now update that explanation with further information okay, look. I mean the, the harvest blessing shrine is actually um, one that is backed by the daimyo he, he sponsored that and the temple of the dragon at peace so um, they do have the daimyo's here. Okie doke. So you have one day left and your training begins. Do you wish to just have a rest day? Do you want to try and... Uh... Yeah, just... Yeah, okay. just going to rest. So do I'm... I am, anyway. Else. I'm going to rest and, and ponder upon what just happened. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just as well you're resting today, because it, uh, you know, dark clouds overhead and heavy mist drizzle. Good today. And the temperature didn't rise above five degrees today. It's really, really cold. Um, you're kind of huddling round the brazier in the, in the shack. Okie doke. So, the following week, you all trudge along to the Moving Wave School, and you will have two weeks of training in Shuriken Jutsu. So, let us see what that involves in the way of bonuses. What's the first? What's the one called? Okay, this month it is one. It is uh, Kami no Suki. K A M I dash N O dash S U K I. Okay. It's a moving way school, we're going to, isn't it? Correct. And you are approaching midwinter. At the end of this month, it will be midwinter. Okay. 
so back to the moving wave school you are both visiting there as you are visiting there and you are training on Sudaira who's the second most senior trainer so his level is greater than yours it's not he's not six level I'm afraid but he is a master of it is bonus for you but sadly they do not have a torimono that you can so therefore, you will each gain plus four to your learning rate at a cost of five silver. So for the two weeks, it will cost you ten silver. And you would get plus eight and twice your learning rate. Okay. So if you don't have it listed, then add Shuriken Jutsu in the Bugai. It's bonus, and you have used, now made it a freely improved skill. How do you spell it? Shuriken? S-H-U-R-I-K-E-N-J-U-T-S-U. Shuriken Jutsu. It's a bonus skill, right? Yep. And a freely improvable and skill. FIS. And what am I putting in my permanent, sorry? Uh will be eight plus twice your learning rate. My learning rate is It's so hard to find things. Learning rate is two. So what do you say two plus my learning rate? No no. Twice your learning rate plus eight. So, four plus eight. Twelve. Twelve. Twelve, then. Nice. Is that for the two weeks or one week? That's for the two weeks. And that cost me, what, ten silver? Ten silver. Yeah. Okay. Now, that doesn't look as though that's working. Okay. Go on. Hang on a second, I'm just looking at your... I want my weight. Mine seems to have worked probably. I can see. Ah, uh, hang on a second. I know why your BCS is so low. Because you are partially encumbered. Sorry, this is for Cure You. Because mm -hmm. Cure You is partially encumbered, right. he gets a minus one on his BCS capability and saving throw. Right. So therefore, all your BCSs listed, Cure You, are minus one. I just need to change some okay. coins. If, if we say you dropped all your equipment, yeah. all your BCSs would go up. Yeah. Okay. And is that... For that, do we get... Uh, wait, got, got you get plus two, two BCS on your... You? On, uh, uh, you've got up by two BCSs, but two. therefore you gain uh, two, point two on point a physical two. characteristic. Yep. So I'll put that on with speed. It's up to a nice round number. Charlie could unfortunately doesn't boost your saving throw. No. So have you added point two to a physical characteristic cure you? Not yet. You add it on the permanent value, don't you? Add it in the permanent value. Yeah. So presumably you're putting your speed up to point twenty-two point four. Oh yeah. Uh... Okay. And you all gain two earned status in the moving waves. Convenient timing. 
I believe so. I shall, I shall call it a day here, Dave. If I, I think this is an appropriate yeah. time to finish. Yeah. Uh, you have impressed the Kami. You have impressed the the the, the uh, uh, Harvest Blessing Shrine. You're impressing everybody just at the moment. It was a good um, Our fame rating will be going up to something horrible. Yeah, oh, yeah. we're yeah, on a, we're on a finish, upper at the moment. With a lot um, of cool stuff. Upwards and onwards. Kinzo, add another on. Oh. Thank you. You're joking, I went down and got it and he got the on. He took it into yeah. the Harvest Blessing Shrine no and arrayed yeah. the ceremony. Uh. You, were just, you, you were just a mutt. The mud sucker, he's the one who did the important bit. <laughs> I went to the ceremony. You never mentioned it was me that discovered it, no? Okay. Yeah, no, I remember slipped his mind. Yeah. I remember that, mate. 